Um, I'm calling this meeting of the Nantucket Historic Commission to order. Historic District Commission to order. Uh, today is Tuesday, May 21st. It is uh, 4.36. Present at tonight's meeting are John McLaughlin, Stephen Welch, Val Oliver, Jesse Dutra, and myself, Ray Bull. Two things for those of you in the audience before we get started. One, all tonight's meeting is being recorded. If you want to record any portion of tonight's meeting on your own, please let us know in advance. Second thing, any conversations that want to take place other than at the table should happen out in the hall just so that Terry can pick up what's being said at the table. Thank you. Uh, can I have a motion to approve tonight's agenda? So moved. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Everybody in. Okay. Uh, any public comment at this time? Hearing none, we'll move right along with consent. And now, folks, here's what we're going to do, because we have two people that need to recuse, myself and Val. So Terry has come up with a very good idea of Val recusing, we're going to do this in batches. So it will be everyone at the table except Val on the first 17 items. And then I'm going to switch it over to Val. And I'll recuse from 18 through 29, and the four of you can handle the second half. Okay, so uh, on items, can I have a motion to approve uh, items 1 through 17 on the consent agenda? So moved. That, that is recusing, of course. Uh, all those in favor of Jesse's mo motion to uh, approve? Aye. 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 And John, did you say aye? You're abstaining. Yeah, you're abstaining. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And uh, Val, would you mind? Uh, sure. For the second half of the consent agenda, that would be 18 through 29. Can I have a motion to approve that batch of consent items? So moved. All right. All in favor of Jesse's motion? Aye. Aye. Okay, now we have some consent with conditions, three items. Uh -huh. Val needs to recuse from that, so we're back to <clears throat> me. Can I have a motion on the three consent with conditions items? Motion we'll approved with conditions. Thank you, Stephen. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, one sign. Kevin Dooster. Okay, no one. Hello. Uh, Welcome, Kevin. Easy today. All signs were approved with comments. Oh my word! Really? Yeah. Well, there were some there were some hearty comments, but they all got <laughs> good. Nice. nice. It worked. All right. As long as they're moving through. Motion, Motion approved. Okay. Motion approved. Signs with hearty comments. <laughs> okay. I also all those in signs. all those in favor of Stevens' motion. Motion Aye. To approve. Aye. Yep. Aye. They looked at. They had a lot of comments, John. Trust me, John. So <laughs> all those comments are being incorporated into the approval. Okay. Just, uh, I'm sure they brought. Oh yeah, the temporary. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So all those in favor of Stephen's motion to approve the signs. Aye. Three six. Aye. Okay. I also wanted yes. to uh, uh, mention that we discussed this morning the the new signs on Milestone Road. I just saw ah. That. And I have asked. I have a feeling you're going to burn. <laughs> They're still there. I know a lot of people in black tights with chainsaws. Oh, oh, winter is long. Yeah. Here on the anyway, I wanted so to let you know that, uh, <laughs> at, as you probably know, all signs are are covered by the HDC, um, regardless of where they are or what they're going to do. This got through for any number of reasons, which is not my point. But my point is that we have asked John to. Uh, request that both Mike Burns and Rob McNeil come visit with us so that we can discuss a whole host of things that go along with that. So Great. We are working on that end, and I know there's other people trying to deal with the ones that are off, but... Uh, you mean the two? The I've heard two. there's 45. Two, there's, yeah. 
It's a slew of them. Yeah. Yes. All on Milestone Road? Yes. Yeah. And some of them are in batches of three. Oh, I only saw the two because John had called up and said, have you seen them? And, yeah, so, and they also had the road sort of blocked off. Yeah. The yeah. scenic view. Mm. It's the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Oh, <laughs> so, boy. All right. Well, thanks. So we're, we're doing our part. At, you know, they, they this batch got away from us all. And we'll work. That's a separate issue to work on that. But at least we're dealing with what we have. Three. Kevin, I heard it was the Department of Transportation. Well, what uh, safety issue? Well, yeah. What, what 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 it? My understanding of what it is is that when when there's when there's applications for state money, it should come through to the uh, not this commission but the historical commission. And since it, and since that commission isn't functioning at the moment. John looked at them, and you guys passed on them, and they were buried in the materials. So oh. it, it didn't get stopped soon enough. Uh -huh. um, it's sort of like that you know, roof sign that went up in Sconset that just kind of snuck through and nobody saw yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's part in the past when these things have happened, like mm -hmm. on the bike pass, they've gotten oversigned, and Sparks Avenue Rotary a while back got oversigned. They've come back and taken them out, so we're going to be kind of reinforcing that you minimize it some, and in the future, um, you know, we, we just want to prohibit the clutter. We're not interested in, you know, prohibiting safety. We just want to try to reduce the clutter. I don't see how this is so, different. I, mean, I, I know, I know. Safety. So anyway, um, we're trying to do our little piece right. in it. Thank well, you. Thank you. Really thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, now we're on to new business. Um, First up, uh, Bill Schwab at 45 North Liberty. Motion, motion to hold, hold for representation. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Jesse's made a motion to hold it for rep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <coughs> okay, Nantucket Architecture Group. Good afternoon. Hi there. Welcome. Thank you. Broadway. We yeah, you this probably before. know this property very yeah, this, well this now. This is kind of the triangular yeah. page area. So in order to revise the previous application, we have a few changes again. <clears throat> so we basically enclose one of the entries on the back side of the property. Okay, got it. We also uh, extend the brick, the bricks right this. here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. You yeah. eliminated yeah. the hedge there though. Yeah, we eliminate the hedge and we would like to install a Belgium blocks along the property. Oh, I see. Because That's not there the street at all. level is three inches lower, so basically we want to retain the patio from the street. Was there this, any sap? Yes, there is. Um, this is just a markup that we remove some of the hatch. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So here's what H sap has to say about this: addition of Belgian block too formal destroys the character of the. You're using it as a curbing, right? Yeah. To reconcile the three inch difference between the lane and your property. Because um, I happen to, I don't want to jump right in necessarily, but I got a feeling that the rest of you are probably going to have similar thoughts as H staff. Or well, I, I, if there's nothing else like that on the street. Well, there will be a hatch above, so it's not really be visible that much. Uh, mm, yeah. you know, but the, the, this Belgian block runs right along the property line. Yeah. So, oh, you're saying because the hedge will overgrow it. Yeah, right? but there's always inches. Isn't there a road right to the yeah. right of it? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to see it. Well, what's the grip? So you're, uh, man, you're yeah. trying to mask a grade difference? Yeah. Three inches. You know, the difference between a road and a sidewalk in town. Well, that's just plant. Uh, are the privet in? Uh, not yeah. yet. I mean, you can say bury the well, difference right. in the privet. Yeah, we just put it in, in the grave. The privet. 
you can do that. I mean, if you put it, if you put the if you put the grade here, an inch at an inch below dirt level at the brick, there's a, you got two inches to go over a foot and a half, two feet, it's two feet. Yeah. Well, there's a portion of this that's right on the line. Half of it is on their property, and you know, the curvy part is on their property, and the straight part is right on the property line. But I mean, to the street, they'll have two feet, so they wouldn't even have to. This is all street right here, right? Yeah. Well, the street is actually cutting the property, so this is the street. Oh. Oh. So, uh -huh. if this is your brick. And the house was already he heated once in this corner right here. Somebody. So this will prevent something well, to happen again. Okay. Um, I think we're all just going to jump in on this. I, I'd like to hear what Kathy has to say. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I think uh, a curbing would be nice. I mean, it seems like a, a kind of an overkill for three inches, uh, both in size and width. Um, but if you cut the curbing so you don't have to bury it 18 inches into the earth and, and cement it in um, at a, a, a lower depth, that could work. And then the width. Oh, sorry, Jesse, are you talking about like. Like good street curbing? Yeah. It, like salvage yeah. granite curbing? Yeah. Curb. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the the other possibility in we, we approved it in town where it was it almost looked like a bluestone curb where they took the, the, the bluestone and they turned it on edge um, and that'll actually give you a little bit more room for your <clears throat> privet to be growing because you've got a very minimal area for growing there um, so every inch counts um, if you stand up some granite that with, with a uh, a natural rock face cut, not a sawn cut, you know, to make it look more antique. Are you talking about the bluestone or granite? Um, well, the, the, the stuff that was in downtown was, uh, it was granite that looked like bluestone, and then when they went to replace it, they replaced it with bluestone. So it was, it's, it's almost half bluestone, half granite. Okay. Um, so I would say um, if we wanted to get technical, we could probably go with like a blue mist granite um, that looks like the, you know. But it would be in lengths as opposed to little feet like. Uh, right. So you just don't have as many joints there. Right. So it's more like a curb. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, those are, those are the two options I, I think that could work that would be better than the, the metal, edge. metal edge. But yeah, yeah that's. I mean that would be the most inconspicuous, mm -hmm. but it's. I don't think. I don't think it. It, it goes historically uh -huh. with anything. Yeah. And it'll be exposed. And it will be you exposed. Show the three and, you know, and yeah, difference in and it will get rusty. Right. And what did the H chef say? They did, they just said they don't like the Belgian block, which yeah. I don't happen to agree with. It. Yeah, I would say a a, a narrow curbing, so not. You know, not not something that is six or eight inches wide, but something that's more like two or three inches wide. I think the Belgian block is not that wide. Uh, they're they're four to five wide. inches wide. Well, it's also in little teeth. You know? Yeah. So what what Jesse is describing is more like curbs curb stones that are longer lengths. They have less pieces. <clears throat> um, is there any submitted picture of a Belgian block that we found? No uh, picture. With you? No. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you have a special kind, usually it's that big and then square. square. What about if it was brick? Well, isn't 20, I thought that there was an encroachment on 20, at 21 or 23. <clears throat> that we that was brought to our attention at one point a while back, quite a while. And um, in relation to that, I remember going out there, and I'm pretty sure that it was just like stone, like small pieces of cobble, 
that were along the edge of the road and broke up because it was the only other location. It's one of a few locations on that on Broadway that has <clears throat> mulch versus grass coming up to the tarmac. And I think they had small pe they had small cobble there. I'm not suggesting it. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't think you oh. need it. I think if you come an inch down at the brick and then you come out to grade and you roll it down, it's two inches over two feet. No, you don't need it. You don't need it. I think it's more for stopping the cars or, or making sure the house doesn't. Get well, actually, that's what she just said. Yeah. Was that cars actually hit this corner well, then of the building? Gonna help? Yeah. So it's going to be a, a hitching post there. there. Well, a baller. Let, let baller, me let yeah. me just, John. We haven't heard from you yet. Okay, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, um, I agree with Stephen that you do not need the curb to get this to work. You don't need it. However, if you do want to have a curb, uh, I agree with with Wisconsin advisory that Belgian block is too formal, and you've heard some other options, yeah. including this cobble. Uh, brick was tossed out there, you know, the curb stone idea that Jesse had. Um, so there are a number of different options that would be more friendly to that particular little street, its scale and its level of formality. Um, what would you like us to do with this? Do you want to go out and take some pictures or something of <coughs> stuff that's out there? Probably not. Probably we'll just change the material. Okay. But if you change the material, can you show us a photograph of what you're going to do? Sure. Okay. So motion to hold for revision? Yep. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. All right. All right. All right. John, you have something you want to say? No, I agree. I agree. Just to do this. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Val, we're up to you. Yeah, the number three I'd like to hold because I think the contractor is going to come in. Okay. So I'll yeah. skip and go to four. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, different. I don't remember these terms. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're kind of, it's, it's that narrow curve. It's really I told them 515. Yeah, so it's narrow, like here. two, three inch curve. Yeah, just a little bit. 15 yeah. makes perfect yeah. sense. So, can I just have a motion to hold uh, item three for um, representation? So moved. All, right. All those in favor? All right. Okay. Okay. We're going to come back to that one. So, number four now. Welcome Which to is... the HDC. Thank yeah. you. We're on a fence, so we could be here for a while if anyone needs to take a I was really, break. really surprised this was not on consent. There you go. It's out in the middle of Rugged Road and... I think it's because of the picture. Interior to the lot. Oh, it is an interesting picture. Okay, we're on number four. We are on number four. Yes, John. Dale, do you think it's because of the picture? What's normally, wrong with the picture? Well, normally we see a, an eight-foot section. Oh. of lattice without the break oh well but, this is fencing from home depot yes which which has been used before oh okay but at any rate that's um, the only reason i could think it might have come up it's natural right it's natural yeah. to weather it's um dividing the parking area from the yard um is this visible from the street? A little bit from the parking area, but um, oh, it's I'm surprised way out that. behind the bushes. So, yeah, so here's your visibility from the circle, right? And what do you look to see? No, so to, to be fair, way. this lot got subdivided. It was one big lot. Oh, now it's cut, yeah, and the driveway okay. is from yeah. rugged roadside. This is got got, just got approved as a new dwelling. Right. So it's about mm, 30 feet, maybe that way, and 45 ish of picket the other way. Is that existing landscaping? Yes. So, I mean, it looks like it's pretty obscure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I just want, I'm just looking for information. Maybe he didn't understand the cutting of the lot in half. Because I still, it's still officially 18 Bayberry until right. it goes through. Yeah. 
And then what color is the picket? Is it going to be natural white or natural? To weather. Natural, all natural, everything natural. Okay. On Jesse. natural routes. I have no concerns. Okay. Steven. No concerns. John. Any concerns? Okay. Uh, I have no concerns. Any, uh, can we have a motion? Uh, motion approved is submitted. How uh, I see your NTW? Thank ball. you. All those in favor? Thank you. I can't say I. No, I not. Um, I. Oh, I'm assuming the, the other two are in favor of. Jesse? Were you? Yeah. <laughs> I already said that. And who in favor? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so this one has H7. Okay. It says, we much prefer the staff approval plan, simple and more appropriate to neighborhood. The staff approval plan. So you guys approved this already with me drawing the boathouse, um, which was very simple. It had three shingled sides with small windows and then just some doors on the front. He has gone to a shed company called Sea Spray Sheds to build it, and this is the plan that they came up with in place of the other plan. So I guess maybe it's the doors that they are concerned with. Okay. Because uh, the, the shape and size are the same. Yeah. Height, shape, size, everything is the same, so it's just the facades. It's a different style of door. Oh, okay. Now yeah. it's coming clear. Yeah. Yeah. The very elaborate. In the corner ray is the approval. I see. On the, I saw okay. That, yeah. yeah. I think they're too elaborate. It's about the doors. Yeah. So. They don't have options for the doors. This company. I assume they probably do. Like so why don't option. you guys? You want me to hold and see if. They can do go back to a simpler style, like just a barn. Yeah, board and bat door. Well, yeah. Or a V groove, tongue and groove door. Yeah. Um, Jesse, do you have that's a good that's a good idea. Okay. Um, John. Yeah. Maybe question of yeah. From the lot, where is it going? Okay. Look at the plot plan. If you look up in the corner, John. It's in front. Okay. This, no, this is the existing shed. This is where the new ones are. No, no. <coughs> oh, yes, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yes. <laughs> up here. Yeah. Okay, I'll make my comment. Okay. Go. All right. The uh, things change. Two things change these louvers to wood, not metal. Are they metal? Aluminum. Oh, aluminum. Okay, good point. Okay. And, uh, the louvers are spec as aluminum. Okay. Okay, John, and then we're also going to try and get some simpler doors without any glass or anything. Okay. Those doors. Uh, H Sab said that they were a little elaborate, and, and I think we all agree that they are. Just some simpler doors. So, may I ask a question? Yeah. Can I get it as a staff approval with just board and batten doors like we had before? And if he doesn't like that, I can come back with some different doors. And a wood louver. And a wood louver. Yeah, that's okay. Good. That's my motion. All right. Uh, all those in favor of Stephen's motion. Aye. Aye. John, you're good with that wood movers and John's good with it. Okay. Um, That's okay. I'm all butterfingers today. Okay. 30 Huntington. Yeah, tomorrow or Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. This is a long weekend, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> okay, is this uh, a new, it's a new dwelling, okay. Gretchen and David Callahan. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Huntington, it's a big lot out in Tom Nevers. She took some drone pictures for us. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It looks like a, a airport. Yeah. Ooh. And uh, this is going to, down toward one corner. The southern corner. Oh, so this uh, this that is just not means, even a full site plan. No, because it's 800 feet. Wow, that's amazing. So I couldn't fit it on there. Holy crow. I did dot in the lines where the setbacks would be. Yep. 20 on the sides and rear and 35 on the front. So this is about 40 feet back. Um, it's a Huntington. <coughs> Bless you. Everything's natural to weather, trim, sidewall, deck, forest green, sash, and doors, and black architectural roof shingles. Wow. And I took some pictures of the nearest houses to you yeah. for contact. Can't get much closer to the corner than that. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I don't understand which corner that is. Is, is that this corner? Let's see. Okay, the road corner, right? Huntington is here. Yeah. It's, is it is this Huntington? Huntington the north corner or the south corner? Oh, you're right. It's up here. Oh, I see. Gloucester here. Yeah. And then that's actually the property line. That yeah. Line right here. So, it's okay. up north? Yeah. Yes. It's northwest corner. Correct. Comments. Not yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stephen, you ready? Uh, I don't. I don't think a uh, some type of covered porch would hurt, but it's not critical. It's what's the what's the vegetation like out there, Bill? Um, this wow. pretty uh, yes, yeah, scrubby. Uh, if you well, I guess the pictures aren't that clear because they're black and white. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to tell. Is it head high or is it below? Some of it looks like mm, below, it's probably it. like yeah, you know, yeah. it's not over our head. The no. vegetation. Okay. Not over so to clarify <laughs> my comment, my concern has to be consistent as Mr. McLaughlin has stated in the past is that the Huntington homes are on Huntington Street, this happens to be, <laughs> um, are too tall due to the fact that there's a double layer of uh, ceiling joists, first floor ceiling joists and second floor floor joists. Is that the case with this? Yeah. Okay. It's so, 29. Yeah. So that's where I think a little additive massing comes in. Um, the north elevation, I think, would actually benefit the most and um, from some type of a pent roof over the side door entry and um, I presume there's going to be a gable uh, louver or is that going to be ridge vent or you know I don't know but I'll take a note window so, or that vent. to say Steve that you would like to see something up there yeah uh, complete it, it something like a window or something a little visual interest that's a yeah. big expanse uh, and that would be true of the south <laughs> elevation as well. Yes, sir. Okay. Those are my comments. Okay. Uh, you ready, Jesse? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with Steve's comment. Up, if you put something up that north elevation, gives it a little bit more character than just a box. Um, and don't really have any other concerns given the fact that it's a Huntington home and it's out in the middle of Tom Nevers. Mm -hmm. On a really large lot. How about you, John? Well, I, well, actually, I think it fits in the neighborhood compared to these two here. Yeah. Okay. So I think that uh, I, I think that it would benefit the building to have a little roof over the side entry on the north elevation. Stephen has suggested a little pent roof, which I think is fine. 
And then either uh, louvers or a small double hung window in either side of the gable end on the north and south elevations. You okay. With that? Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, what do you think? Should we make a motion to that effect? Uh, motion to approve with a tent roof on the over the door on the north elevation and windows or louvers at the gables on the north and south elevations. Perfect. Uh, thank you. All those in favor of Jessica Mutter. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Can that tent roof Bruce, yeah. be with, you know, like posts, like a little mini porch? Does it have to be on brackets? Applicants often. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. trying to... No. Was that your motion? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Um, Val, and we'll get back to you on your phone. Oh, yes. Thank okay. you. Uh, okay. Carrie, did I see Carrie? Oh, okay. Your turn. Oh, he just texted we me. We can't cut. come. Oh, so do you want to do it or? I'll do it a little bit later right. myself. Don't you have more on here? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, well, we'll take it up in another one. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Now, <laughs> yeah, from the Princess Light, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Vanna. Oh no, that's Vanna. Who is Carol? No, no, Mara? no. Vanna is from Wheel of Fortune. Oh, that's Price is Right is Carol Merrill. Yeah. It's scary that you know that. It's true. Good. I thought Vanna White was on the one with the words. Yeah, that's Wheel of Fortune. Oh. Oh. She does the wheel. I always thought that would be an awesome job. It's like, oh art, God! How many years that. has she been doing it? Like a million? I don't doubt it. That's that makes it even better. Oh my God! How many years? Like fifty years? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Well, you know, I don't. I think I think those touch screens are historically insignificant. Oh my gosh! Well, it must be fun if they live if they do it every day. Gotta be something good about it. Okay, so this is a new application. This is a cottage. Sorry, they're both um, darkened on the site plan, but the small building on the left mm -hmm. is okay. the one that that does that not we exist. See in 3D. Yes. And it's, it's linked via a pergola. It's linked via a house. pergola to the porch that exists okay. on the main house. And the house is the photograph. Yep. Right. And this building is set back like 300 plus feet from Skyline. It has a funny driveway that leads in a corner. Um, it's basically a landlocked property yeah. with just the driveway. So I think the only thing you'll see I mean, everything on this property has been approved because it's invisible. But from the street, um, if you stand at the driveway, you might be able to see some of the pergola, which would be a post and the top pieces. At the corner of the cottage, maybe, some of the top cottage porch. Um, but yeah. I think the bottom line is it's a very cute, yeah. appropriate little cottage. Yeah, even, right. even, if, even if there were no vegetation, right. uh, if, if you could see it, it's well. Um, Thank you. So, Val, do you have anything else you want to say other than um, that? Do you crappy. think you could maybe put another post in the porch or is Anybody else feel? Yeah, I originally had some, and they thought they don't want to see any mm. because it's so small. It's such a small little building, but they, the front they, porch. The owners don't the want owners. To have a second or a third post. No, I've done many options, and they said, "Nope, wow. let's put a big beam and have it over." Very specific. Oh. Okay. Uh, white trim, right? White trim match the hey, house. Uh, so, our pergola is that? Pergola would be white as well. Including the little joist up below. It's a little joist. Yeah, the cross pieces. Yeah, everything would be white. Um, so, Val. Uh, I'm good either way. I okay. just thought that. Wait. Just making yeah. sure. Thanks. Uh, Stephen? Very charming. Okay. John? Hi. Yeah, thank you. Five, five 
D window should be fixed, not on. In the in the gables. Are there really five? Oh, of them? oh. I see there's one. There's a, yeah, there's because there's two, yeah, three. The Troy window. I'm trying to fix it. The Troy is not up to the aperture. Okay. It says awning all fixed. Okay. Troy. Okay. Well, we'll make out a stipulation. Fixed. I don't actually see five of them. I only see two. There's three ganged oh, on that oh, one yeah, end. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. And so does it say on this schedule here, that's uh, the awning or fixed? It says fixed. awning yeah, or fixed. fixed. So if you want them to be fixed, we'll be fixed. We'll make a stipulation on that. Uh, Jesse. Sorry, is that a pergola that's going off that has a, like a rafter that's tying into the pergola? Oh, that thing? Oh, that's a roof. It's a porch, it's a porch and then the pergola is coming off the porch. You're, you're it's looking at that observation. Kind of a funny, a um, funny detail. Yeah. But we're also, that might be the angle of the actual pergola cross pieces because we're sure. not doing it. Yeah, so you're talking about that, right? Yeah. Um, so you're looking at the porch roof and beyond the porch. and the pergola in the foreground. So the pergola yeah. is coming yeah, right. It's the porch it's beam under there. the yeah, pergola. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. No concerns. Okay. It's the main house. It's the, it's, that's, this is correct. So this is the porch roof and this is the porch roof. And the, and the bottom... If you're looking at that elevation, just these guys were just talking about it. That bottom line at the pergola is actually the porch beam under the porch in the background. The pergola is just a I'm simple crossbar. <laughs> Might as well get into the nitty gritty while we can. <laughs> I appreciate the addition of the base. It connects to the other building, right? Yes. Yeah. yes. The house is existing. Right. I didn't draw it as long as it this, could have been. How many tall. feet is that? It's 30 feet. Yes, 30 feet. 30 feet, yep. From here to here is 32. 32, so thank you. Like like six feet. Oh, yeah. uh, right there, I missed something. Front, front door. Could be a front door. These are considered side of that door. <coughs> well, it's a cottage. Huh? It's a cottage. <laughs> okay. So, can we have a motion? I would like to include the the D windows. I D windows would be fixed. That's my motion. Well, I'm good with the door. Yeah, I am too. Seeing it as the cottage. Pardon me? It does if I made the motion. Does it matter, John, if you'll probably never see it? <laughs> All those in favor of Steve's motion to approve with the 5D windows being fixed. Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's John. That's John. Nice John. Nice How do you vote on that? Hey, uh, John. Um, Terry would like to know how you voted. Oh, oh, so that was favor. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. You want to eat the sandwich? Okay. I don't want him to be careful. Chuck Hollow. <laughs> Main house revisions and shed revisions. But I can get, I can go cut. Okay. <laughs> Careful. Did you get this approved recently? Yes. Yeah, I think I so, missed. I think I was gone when this went through. Okay. So, the, the so house? these are both strictly color changes. Oh. Um, so all we're doing is going from, I believe, gray to uh, to white on the trim and the sash. The doors will remain black. Um. All right. So the house is approved as shown. Uh -huh. We're strictly talking color change. So I, I brought in a couple of, of photos that I really just grabbed off the uh, the GIS of neighborhood houses with white trim, 
And um, the other thing I would just bring up is that when the house was approved, um, it was stipulated that the vegetation from the road to the driveway would remain in place, which which virtually makes the house from the first floor down invisible to the eye. So. But yes, I'm not trying to jinx or anything. But is this on appeal? This house. Uh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's, it doesn't affect your application. Right? No. No. Yeah. And it's we're the house we're, or the we're pool moving or forward. The bowl? Sorry. Is it the house or the pool or both? Yeah. I know no, it was the house. I'm actually not sure. I think, it I think it's the front yard. I don't know. There was something weird where it was one and not the other. I yeah, it was one. I thought it might have been the house. I'm not sure. Guess you thought it might be the pool. Yeah, some neighbor complaining, although you can't see it. It's more to do with the plate in the outwash thing, whatever it is. Um, I think that maybe the white and black is too much of a contrast. Uh, all trim and window sash changed to white and just the doors black? Yes. Okay. Well, I thought, oh, the window just, sash are white. Right. So just the doors would be black. That's right. Does that, does that change your view? Or would you still rather see the doors go to something other than black? No, I, I, I was thinking all the doors and windows were um, black. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then I read okay. it. Okay. Thank you. So oh. I just want to be clear in my own mind. It's about, I'm sorry. Uh, Euro Was it all with white? I prefer here. it more subdued because I think it blends in more, but there are already a bunch of white houses out there. Right. Okay. Steve? Uh, all white trim with black doors on fine with okay. in this location. Yeah. John? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This house has uh, 14 B windows. They're already approved and they're all fixed. Huh? They're already approved and they're all fixed. Well, what are we doing with this? Oh, it's a color change. Just a color, color change. change. Okay. So it was approved. It was approved a little while ago as gray, I think, and it's going to white. You got it back. All right, Jesse. Any I'm okay with it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it sounds like we're unanimous on this one. Um, motion. Motion to approve. Thank you, John. All those in favor of John's motion to approve the color change. Aye. 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 And you were about to say oh, the shed is the shed the is the same thing. Right. So can we just have a motion on the next application, which is the shed, the yes. 41 Chuck yeah, Holler, the same, same property, going to white. Shed. Change colors the same. You good? No. Ah. You, I, did, I voted against that house. You voted for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. Um, interesting. Hey, does somebody want to make a motion on oh, the shed? So. Seeing as we made a motion on the uh, so. house. Okay. Motion to approve the shed uh, following suit. Going to of the house approval. Very good. All those in favor. Aye. Yeah. Then all shout at once. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Two sixty-two Pulpus Road. Meet well. Okay. okay. There's none of those funky tastes in here, is there? I got this. No, I'm not even going to say that. No. Look at what? Sorry. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's right. No, they're not Harry Potter flavors. Oh, they're not the Jelly Belly no. popcorn. No. Mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. like, I, I guess. Oh, it's funny that the title block has like everybody on the Well, then if you bring it up, that Mr. Two, you got it. Yeah. On well, this one, yeah. Now. Right. Yep. In other words, yeah, it's, like it's pretty older, you know, already. It's, when yeah. I'm coming through with an application, I have no idea. Yeah, that's usually the case. Um, okay. You leave that blank. <laughs> Um, so, so as you can see from the is there a house here already? Yes. 
Yeah, so currently. That you built? Or, no, this is oh, the house okay. that was built in the 90s. That's up here. Yes. This building is existing. Yes. And there's a cottage here. This is like a little office. So okay. It's a generator building. There's one little build house that's up here. Right. And then this is what we're calling the gatehouse. Was this the so, pink house? Yes. Okay. So this is the pink house. Oh, this is yeah, the, the yeah. Drive through. Yes. Uh, yeah. Right, right. It, it, that's right. It changed hands not so long ago. So, so this building is. Can't say it. I, I don't think it's no. I mean, it's 120. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, I think you know. It's it takes fair a good, for me to two and a half minutes to drive the like drive. Everybody is pretty familiar with this property. Yes, I have the original plans of the pink house. Uh, you do not. Yeah, because my aunt uncle lived there. You're kidding me. And they were the caretakers for oh, years and years and years. I, you know, I, I should really bring dig, I dig yeah. that house. Well, dug that house. Huh. But it's gone now. Um, so, look, um, I'm doing a project across the harbor from this. So I look at this whenever I go out, and I can attest that the, the big main house is visible from the water. But this where Doug is placing this guest house is directly behind. So it would be like all, first of all, it ain't gonna be visible from Culpers Road at all. And second of all, from the water, um, you know, like that little, this little cottage that you said was there, I can't yeah. see, you know, if I can see that, it looks like it's part of the main house. Um, okay, but now that I've biased it, uh, so comments? Well, due to lack of visibility, um, I don't have many concerns. Um, and the architecture is. Well, Does it match point. the house? Yeah. Yeah. The I mean, house. The house is a big rambling damper. Yeah, and then is that up as well, or can you put the, the house? The house oh, is existing. The house was, I should have brought pictures. The house, so the, the house is staying. Yeah. yeah. It was okay. built like 15 years ago. In the, yeah. I guess, I mean, the height looks great for a guest house, but it, I'm assuming the house is considerably yeah, bigger. Way. Yeah. yeah. It's big. It's, it's so a 6,000 square foot like house. So, on the, the only thing is, could, could you make that Ambrell dormer on the east? I know we're not going to see it, but something about it is just yeah. sitting well, funny it's, with it's me. Can it wide. just go? Yeah up to the peak and be more of a mass i don't know it's as a oh, warmer you mean like bigger. raise it up yeah yeah it does that's the first time you'll ever hear this from this floor it makes it <laughs> taller <laughs> big a little small um but it is secondary to the main vehicle the gambo vehicle yeah so i get it okay now i'm looking at double we originally had it as a another shed but it's where the stair is so it, had, it was wider mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's appealing to you or not. I agree with you, but then I saw this and I realized that this is subordinate to that. Right. So that's why I was. So I don't know. What do you think of that idea? What's that? Well, Raising it up. I think it's good. And then just right having some squash. little knee walls so that you get your headroom there. I don't know. I can't imagine you without an objection to that. Raising it. Well, by raising it, it, that would mean it has to go back on the roof. Right. So if, if it goes... Oh, leave the bottom where it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Guys? Yeah. That's what you were describing, right? Just take that roof and pull it up so that the ridge is the same height as the... Yeah, you know something. It just about? seems yeah. like right it's floating in between here. Down. Jesse, see the little sketch of the... Yeah. Just raising that roof up. Um, you're folding. Steven? Folded. Jesse? No, we're folding them up. Folding. Any comments? Questions? Concerns? Yes. yes. The only... Uh, visibility, not visible from the public way, from the south elevation. Out here, in the, in the, uh, the Smuggler's, Smuggler's Hill, is it? Oh, it was the Smuggler's Hill over down here. You see this way, but not too much brush there. No, that's, the, uh, that's all trees and wetlands that we can't this, touch. This, this can be seen. This can be seen. This can be seen. 
Yeah, you can yeah, see the main house. If you throw the brick house down, you can move the image. Yeah. And you built a new one there. You know Val's parents used to live there? No, my aunt and uncle. Oh, aunt and uncle. Dolores and John Bennett used to live there. Two years and mother. My aunt and uncle, Dolores and John, were the caretakers there for the Evans. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't forget things. They're up on the Pocoa Cemetery now. I mean, can you can't be up. The back, the That's a great spot. If you drove up into the harbor, back out again, you're going to see these B windows. Are those uh, you need the B windows? There? Those are casement because they are bedrooms up there. No and it's, it's so far tucked in the trees. I don't. These are, these are going to be a big one, second floor. It's on the floor plan. Each. On the floor plan, each. Oh yeah, yeah. We have the A's for the egress. That's right. See, we did that just for you. <coughs> Normally, right. we like those to be. So I think that <coughs> a uh, design change that we would like to implement is to raise up that Gambrel Ridge on the east elevation. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Uh, with the understanding that this is all probably invisible anyway. Large but invisible. So, um, can somebody give me that motion? I'll give that motion. All right. Um, so, Val just made a motion to approve this with the change to the east elevation by raising the ridge of the Gambrel um, on the east elevation. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now we got. Hey, so what happened? Did you already get approval to remove that little building? Thank you. Yeah, which two, two buildings that were taken off of there, right? Well, no, we yeah. haven't we haven't applied for that yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's going. Yeah, it's down the road because we're moving a lot of different okay. things around. Johnny, he's going to put he's going to change those windows to double on that sort of thing. Thank you. All right. So this is a shed. No, um, it's, so it's an existing. Um, we're calling it the boathouse because it's right on the water. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a cute little building. It's just got some weird prairie style windows. We already got approval for what's shown on the right hand side at the bottom here. So we went from these prairie windows. Oh, oh, double hung. Hung. Yeah, it's so out of place. Yeah. Here. So we got this approved with double hungs. But yes. then we were hanging out in there one day, and we said, wouldn't it be great if we're standing here, you know, literally. 20 feet from the water if this was all windows so it just seemed like a much more logical um, oh, so these things thing. we're looking at are, are not screens they're windows no these are screens so these are screens this is an enclosed area and these are windows are so oh i see you're there. just Give adding more yeah windows. we're just adding more yeah. windows and we're making them uh blind light uh -huh. well what's interesting about that theory doug is that the double hung were bigger it's true well, bigger, but there were fewer of them. Right. Um, what What do you have these down at? Thanks, you know, man. Perfect. You know those things like they used to have with the rope walk? They, they, oh, yeah. They, they put them up on the top and hang yeah. from the rafters. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we have them uh, as just line like sash where you know, we really established how I, they would operate. I really like that. Yeah, I, I crossed uh, out, I crossed uh, out uh, fixed uh, yeah. um, I got some windows the other day. Mm -hmm. So we did it's on both sides, right? Hello, on both sides. sides. South and we did. Correct. <laughs> I'm just saying, I suggested it. We did. I was going to actually send you a text. <laughs> hey, Everything uh, is moving forward, yeah. I don't know, but that was huge. That was huge. 
Okay. Kids, we are like on a roll. Tonight, okay. So I don't, I don't want to lose momentum. Um, well, I'll, I'll throw it out there. Okay. Um, go. Uh, I, I, uh, I think um, the change is um, okay, but maybe if we break up the windows a little bit, put a shingle line in the center, and make them more two pairs of windows. Oh, just one shingle line. Yeah. All right. Um, you go with that. Okay. Uh, Steve. Uh, I really like the prairie style windows. Can you just do more of those? Uh -huh. <laughs> Negative. That's too bad. I remember when they first came out in the Marvel catalog. It was like shocking. Bad. It just gives that little <coughs> building some character. Yeah, you feel like you're out in the Midwest somewhere. Yeah. And looking out over uh, the harbor. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm fine with them. Right? You're, You're fine, fine with it. Just add this. Okay. Uh, John. Yeah. It's moved to integral. It's on the inside. So it's not a house. There's a screen door yeah, here. Okay. And then this is the screen Which one of these is the screen door? Uh, I give up. This one it's here. Tone. It's really lightly dotted. And Jesse is correct. We okay, so. Are the world. I'm just so excited. That was good. That's the biggest thing that's happened in the ACC. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what 30 is. Yep. Thank you. I didn't know what it was until I looked it up. Um, hey, you know, I'm okay with having the four windows gang together. I think it's appropriate. The way that Doug has drawn it, would you be okay with yeah. not doing the shingle line? Yeah. And Val, you were you're okay too. So, um, it's very right. what? Don't make jokes on emotions. <laughs> no, but there is no emotion. I need one. Come on, somebody get motion, motion to approve as submitted. There we go. Perfect. All those in favor. Aye. 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 All right. All right. I'll email you. Serving 12. 12. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll send you. Did we have a conversation? So, we're going away. So, okay. Well, you know how to get a hold of them. Quarter mile hill. I'm thinking 6 30. <laughs> Uh, well, that's what it made I me mean, think of. That's entirely I'm at stop and shop. Yeah. I'm thinking six thirty. Don't do the No, I know. I was afraid to Otherwise the time expands to fill the task expands. We're gonna try not to do that tonight. Okay. That's right, dude. <laughs> so we have an addition. Welcome. We have an addition and we have some comments from each. Yeah, one thing I, I was curious about when I went to view was how old is this house? Um, you know, I'm not sure. Well, I think maybe HSAB might have something to say yeah. about that. So let's take a look. Look at that, John. Okay. Um, HSAB circled the contributing, non-contributing thing on this and said no information, incomplete application, is this historic, they say. Um, then they proceed to say documentation for roof wall, question mark, did this house have one, question mark, east elevation, minimum pitch of four and twelve, west elevation, inappropriate changes, historic facade, too much, Balcony out of character with historic facade. Double French doors inappropriate. That was the west. South is second floor deck inappropriate. Um, second floor deck inappropriate something. It looks big. like a roof walk. Does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, it says other. This is historic. Provide documentation. You need to see revisions. Complete. We changes character of building. Okay. Um, all right. So, boy, we can review this, but I, I do agree with HSAB that we need some history. Yeah, yeah, you know, this is that that remote site back there, and I can't help but think that this right. has some kind of legacy. Um, 
Yeah, I almost kind of, I mean, I don't like you guys, but if it's historic, I would prefer to. Wait until we have some more Yeah, you know, because it's going to flavor my comments. Right. It totally okay. will. Like the wraparound porch, the roof walk. Oh. Uh, I think you have some homework that you need to do here. All right. So, what kind of documents do we need? Well, uh, you get the age of the building. <clears throat> so, and, you know, the survey forms that they have in the office of the HCC. Uh, the Library of Congress might have. Something library of Congress, the NHA Library. A uh, good the, website for you to go to is the Mass Cultural Resources oh, okay. website. Yeah. And it's a pain to navigate to do a search, but you can do a search and they'll tell you if this house is listed in the register or the local register, which is really the state register. Okay. But a lot of times they refer to it as the local. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be helpful. And we actually ran across this with uh, a fellow who came in with us. Oh, uh, yeah, the contract. Room. Yeah, yeah. And better to find out now before it's. Right. Because I'll look it up, but I just, when I have a chance. Yeah, you may want to check okay. multiple sources too, because like the um, um, Sanborn maps, yeah. you know, looking at the, what the profile on the ground was at various intervals, whether it changed. Da, there da, may so. be some photos that actually help your cause if there yeah. was a roof walk or. So the site you want to look at is MHC hyphen MHC hyphen MACRIS dot net, and that's the Mass Cultural Resources <coughs> Information System. Okay, thank you. It's a good resource. All right. Okay, so. Whoever makes the motion on this, could they say as part of the motion to that when you do provide the historic information that it all go back to your staff again for a re-review? That is my motion. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, John, she's going to do some historic <laughs> research into this building because we think it's old, but so does uh, historic structure is advisory <laughs> So, Stephen made the motion to get the historic information and then send it all to Historic Ad Structures Advisory so they can review it before it comes back to us. That's a good idea. Okay. That was well. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh. <coughs> you now hold it. This is probably one of the fifth coffins up and getting the guy that owns it now. That owns it now? No, the guy owns it. His son owns it now. No, he is behind me. Huh. Well, okay. Right, so Stephen has made a motion to hold for historic documentation and to have uh, historic structures advisory board re-review. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Thank you. Um, let's see. We are now to... Um, Tw shit. Yeah, 24 Trotters Lane. She is actually tutoring and is supposed to be here at 715 after she gets done with tutoring. 750. Oh, gosh. So yeah. You know, I, I have this strong sense. I know. Of, we, I we'll, know. we'll hold I for think, representation, yeah, I think but I think we're going to be home in bed by 730. I, I, I think that's her. 630. 630. Uh, Hey, I'm going to text Lisa because I got this feeling that she does, has no idea where we're going. So there's something on here for, um, are we holding number 13? Yeah. Motion to hold number 13 for representation. All okay. All those in favor? Aye. And then the next one is PJ, so should we hold that one as well? Wait, what's 13 hold You're, you're getting ahead of me. Oh, yeah, that's TJ, so we do have to hold that one. Um, and then... Motion to hold number 14 for right. representation. That's number 15, no. And 15. What is that? Okay. Unless you're so either. they're going really fast. So 13, we don't have any representation, so we made a motion to hold 13 for representation. Then we don't have any representation because TJ is not here for 14, so we're holding that one. But number 14, you're holding it? We're holding that because we don't have any representation. <laughs> now I'm going to make a suggestion. At this juncture, because Val had 
had thought that her client on new business number three was going to appear, but turns out they're not going to appear, can we now take up item number three, which we were holding? That's fine. Is that all right with the group? Is this before Trotters or after, after two days? Before uh, well, after two 13 days. and 14, we are holding for representation. So they're off the table at the moment. And what I'm suggesting is that we have a motion to go back to item number three, which is vows. Yeah. Um, and review that. Yes. Is that, so you can't vote on this. I know. All right. But, so can I have a motion? To take up item number three, unless there's any objection. So moved. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <coughs> do, 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 do. Was that that? That seven quarter mile was in the middle of the big block. Huge. Okay. All it. by itself. Yeah. There's one, but it's not it. You don't see any? I don't see it on the map side. Oh, I have, it's in my little folder there. I made a copy of it. This was um, a couple of things picked up on inspection. Okay. There's people trying to get stuff back to I know. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't construct the chimney. There were some minor miscellaneous window changes. Um, hey, oh, Val. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. I only have two photographs. Is that all I'm supposed to be looking at? Well, that's all you can see from okay. the road, Madikit Road. I didn't go around to the back oh, okay. of the house. Okay, so those are your photographs because sometimes John takes pictures and then he circles whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't have. bring those. I didn't have those right. actually. So why don't we just why don't we just walk through this? Okay. Um, why don't you take a look at those, Jesse? So the front door. So on the north, we didn't put in the chimney. Mm-hmm. The dormer doesn't meet the meeting rail because of a bathtub. Okay. Uh, the door is painted blue instead of white. Okay. Um, again, on the west, no chimney. The little four light had been a six light, but it didn't fit, so they made it a smaller window. It is fixed. Okay. Um, on the rear, Again, the chimney. Right. Um, that was the only thing on that side. And then on the east, he, there was supposed to be shingled railing to the cellar, and it's now um, open ballast. Right. And, and the, the chimney isn't blue. there. The door is painted blue, and the AC units are on that side, but they're screened by some hedge. So and let, a little piece of fence. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You, I think that you have bubbled everything that's inconsistent with your original approval. Yep. What did John? All of those things. He was able to detect all of those things yes. in a public way. Okay. All right. Inspector Clouseau. Yep. Yeah, right. Really. Wow. Be sharp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I only have one question. Yeah, go. Val, in the pictures? Yes. I think yours are too small. Is, it, is that just shadow lines under the gutters? What? It, I'm not sure which. If you look at those, like look at this one. I don't oh, you know what that, that is. It, if you look at that image, it shows more. It's almost like a. It looks like uh, it's wow, very strange. And you can it, see it in this. So, yeah, I, I know exactly. That was the only. I, what I, is I, it? I drive by this house regularly. I've never noticed anything as a concern. Sure. But it's. It can't be like a black or a. It first like it was like copper underneath or something. But it, why would they? Why would it that? be there? Yeah. But if you look at the look at even the further back when it's. This? It's almost, it looks like an architectural element because of the pattern. I totally see what Steve is talking about. I don't know what that is. It's weird. So, 
you know, unless that, like this looks like it's a gutter, like this right yeah. Here, the yeah. but if, if that it. wasn't looking like a gutter, then I would have said, oh, well, all of this is copper gutters. Yeah. Because it looks like the rain leaders are copper. Yeah. See, so, you know, does that look at, like it's tying into that? It kind of does. It does. So Steve's saying, is that just a shadow or is that? I don't know that and I can find out. John didn't highlight it, so it's right. Yeah. I just was curious. Is it? Hmm. And as I said, I drive by this house. Um, and I've watched its progression, and I haven't noticed it, so it may be just some type of artifact, artifact in the imagery, but it, it it's so consistent from image to yeah. image that it may be what it has. Funny. And I would say, with regard to the, um, the dormer, if you look at the pictures, I know they're taken from the road, my advantage. Um, <laughs> the porch runs across that side of the building so it doesn't you yeah. don't notice that it looks like, yeah it looks like the, it's just sitting on top right of the roof. yeah okay uh jesse do you have any anything to comment on this you know um there's a lot of little things here but the big one's the chimney and i don't think that was i don't know i feel like it i think it was deliberately not built even though no it was it was deliberately not put in yeah yeah it's a new house i know i get yeah. it what i'm saying is it's not like oh small window it's just put a, no you know, it's this is like blatantly no chimney yeah, yeah. i don't know I, I, um i hate this i'm i'm, I'm not an enforcer i'm not much of an enforcer i just feel like there should be something you know Make sure the person whoever did this understands yeah. that you can. But, uh, oh, we, but we don't do that because it's at inspection anyways. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's almost like since it's if they had come in after the fact and taken a chimney off, mm -hmm. it, it, it has yeah. built triggers. Whereas since it's an open application, but I get Jesse's point. I just I'd like to reemphasize. I think it's important that the whomever the responsible party is, just be made aware that, you know, the HCC approves it as a whole and they should be, you know, not be contacting you late in the game because it puts you kind of in an awkward spot. Absolutely. Um, was this originally going to be a gas? It was probably just a direct vent with a yeah. chimney. Yeah, well, it had a fake chimney, yeah. Okay, so, I, I mean, I, I, with Jesse on the concern overall, I think relative to the fact that um, it was probably just going to be a veneer chimney in any event. It doesn't, the chimney doesn't make the house. In some instances, I think the chimney can be a real element in the architecture. Yeah. Um, I haven't noticed, as I mentioned earlier, I guess, uh, I haven't noticed a sense of something missing when I drive by and look at it. So I'm not as concerned, I'm not concerned about it not being there. Um, and I have no concerns about the rest of it. Thank you. Other than, I'm just curious what that yeah. weirdness is. Um, John. Yeah. Can I put it in on the mountain edge, 18 feet, and the road is 14. Let's give him a comment. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So you're making me change your one window. No. I I circled the stuff that's well, changed. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. 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 we went from a six light yeah. window to a four light window, John. Because the six light wouldn't fit. And it's no. fixed. No. Window right here. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, well, I don't. I, I, all I, over the house. Yeah. Um, I think if it would have fit, you probably would have put it in there. He or she. Um. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'm. I'm okay. Again, it's just frustration. No, I don't think we need to explain it to you. The idea of yeah something. well do you yeah. want him to pay something no, that no, was more for the folks that, at home you know, that's really uh i think unenforceable you know as yeah. well, until the c of o is issued yeah you know but you um, risk the ire of the hdc yeah, yeah. Team, not you yeah. you go into the black you know the blacklist that's why i wanted him to be black it's for the people. yeah well that's for yeah. the people at home <laughs> yeah. that's is that the owner of the building Oh, I can't be here. Huh. I wonder why. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, are we? Can we um, close the book on this one? Would that be all right? Yeah. So, 
Motion to approve as submitted. Thank you. All those in favor? That's aye. Uh, quarter mile hill. Aye. Did I hear aye from? Yes. So, yes. Um, Laura from 24 Cars is on her way. Laura. Oh, the one you just yeah, said. Yeah, 24 Yeah, she's going to try to postpone her. Okay, well, when she arrives, we'll, we'll, okay. we'll okay. take it up. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, so all right, so the next one. Lisa. Is Lisa and she's now here, so uh, okay. Uh, so, so that's this that's the new be, mean lean. That's going to be trippy to people. Hi, John. Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying your stories. I'm enjoying your book. And then they're going to see it goes back to three, and then it goes to. Well, three. I know. You got to tell me more about McLaughlin Island. Uh, yeah, it'll be is that real. real? Hmm. McLaughlin Island. Oh, oh I have real. to. Yeah, it's people in there. Yeah, I saw it. Just sign it away. Okay. Oh, Matt, you know that was for the people on TV. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, you too. I, I don't. <laughs> and I never know until the last second. No, I know. I was for one of the years. Okay, so this is. Okay. Um. Yes. 11 Evelyn Street, color change, fenestration change. And H, I mean SAB, reviewed. Everyone was there. It's contributing and individually significant. North, back door is part of history of the house. Prefer that door. West. Removing window is fine. South, no okay. comment. East, no comment. Okay. Other. Color change. Unanimously prefer green for this history. Okay, Lisa. So the door that we removed <laughs> um, you know, is on the back side of the house. So I don't know that it's, I guess you could view it through really straight. But we added other doors, so it just seemed unnecessary and sort of a, uh, you know, didn't work in the plan. Because the, the house is so small. I mean, we, are, we already added a door to the bedroom, and then there was a door for the kitchen to get out from the kitchen outside. So we just used an old window and put it in its location. And the color change, you know, it, it is the only house of that color on the street. I'd, I'd be curious if all the old houses, you know, there's a lot of gray houses on the street, you know, were they all a, a different color at some point and then were allowed to be painted gray? I don't know why you can't change your house color if it's an approved color. And are you, just as a point of information, the application is to paint it gray? Yes. Okay. So, so. Paint it um, white. No, gray. Oh. So green. To it's gray. Nantucket gray. The house next door is a cooler gray. The house to the other side, I think, is white. Across the street is cobblestone. Then there's white. And then I there's... don't know what color this one is, though. I don't have a picture. Oh, right now it's Essex green. It's our Essex green? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Right. So it's kind of... It's sort of incongruous in a way. Right. Um, anybody ready to go? I, this is kind of a crazy thought, and I'm not sure if uh, it makes a whole lot of sense. Or if, what if we, like, just for a throwback, did like the door at us on the screen? Yeah. I thought about that. Yeah. The front door. Yeah. We could do the garage doors, maybe, too. Uh, but but they're the they're way gray, that's going to be a weird contrast. Isn't it? The Essex green. I think. So. Yeah, I mean I could do a different gray if you feel like you know the natural gray is not appropriate. It would would probably want to be a cooler gray. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't I'd like to plant them. I like the idea. Uh, I think the color change. I would agree that preferred to be green historically. However, on the other hand. That's the thing that changes the most on houses over time is the color. Right. Um, the back door, if it's something that's not visible to us, it's not something that we rule on. 
if it's visible, then you know I would say, is it original to the? It, it probably was, but but it it's not. Okay. It's not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but we replaced it with an original window. We yeah. relocated a window to that location. So this is an open permit. Mm -hmm. Changes. Okay. Just, I just and it wasn't to, because of an inspection. That's fine. Yeah. I just well, thank not you. Not that it clear, matters. Not, thank you for clarifying. Yeah. No, this was um, a change I made a while ago, not thinking it was an issue again because it was it faces Lily Street. Right. Uh, you, you, again, I'm not going to say you can't see it, but it's at a great distance, and I, it doesn't look incongruous because it's an old window that was part of the house anyway. It's a neat old window. It's getting repurposed. Ron, you got anything? Where's the B window that's going to be replaced? Oh, uh, well, that's the B. Yeah. Oh, that's the old schedule from a previous an approval. Window. So there's an awning on <coughs> the south side. Where is it? Where is it? On the south side. Yeah, it's an old awning. Yeah, it's an old awning. It existed as an awning. We won't open it ever. And the color. No, putting the uh, uh, Yeah, exactly. And the color. Where's the existing door? Uh, the north south here, side. Here. This goes with this. This goes with this. Okay. You take this door out for the window right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that originally the front door? No. The front door faces the street. No, um, yeah, no yeah. not that one. Thank you. Okay, Jesse. I know you have a photographic yeah, memory. Yeah, my. Um, Lisa, can the garage doors be green too? Yeah. Like, what do you guys think about that? I, I, my only concern with the two tone is that the, I'm I'm not quite sure which what gray would be appropriate, and too light a gray I think is actually going to be incongruous with. Right. Like, it should be a historical just, match. Right, and it should just blend. Yeah, like a green that is historic, uh, a gray that would historically go with that green. Mm -hmm. it's, I know it's not Nantucket gray, mm -hmm. but it's not platinum gray either. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what it is, but um, I'm not quite sure how we would put that. <laughs> other than it would be approved subject to Essex green doors and a historical um, light gray Color what would be um, complementary color map? Right. What was the other gray? Quaker. Quaker is the cooler gray. Uh, Quaker would probably work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All so right. Quaker Does somebody want to make a motion? Uh, motion to a. John? You have. Okay. You can't be to make a motion, baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were having like an episode. Um, we thought you were having a moment. Mo motion to approve with uh, uh, the color change to Quaker gray on the trim and sash, and uh, uh, in Essex green on the garage doors and front door on the south door. All in favor yeah. of Jesse's motion. Aye. Aye. John. You good? Okay. Yep. You have a vote for the record, or you just whisper in my ear? He did his time during his motion. What's that? Yes. Didn't I just say everybody? No, 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 yeah, we're on 16 now, although... Uh, 13, Sean? Yeah, 13 is here. Right. Oh, 13 is here. Okay. Motion to take up 13. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. We're going to take we're up going 13. back to 13 now. Pick up 15. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Val. Valana. <laughs> 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 
Baloney. Baloney. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? We're getting there. Excellent. Thank you. So far, we gotta get more. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think probably the issue would be the cupola. Uh, and I have to recuse. Okay. Okay. I'm a neighbor. Okay. Yeah. Three hundred fifty feet. Okay. Hi, neighbor. Hi, neighbor. Oh. I think where it's going, yeah. it's all fine, the height and all that, but the, the cupola is pretty little or I don't know. That was the size they recommended. Yeah. Um, um, that's, I know. Yeah, it's it's uh, Pine Harbors in Hyannis or yeah. that area that I ordered it from. Mm -hmm. And that's the the size they said it would go with a twelve by sixteen shed. On, on the cave. <laughs> yeah. She says she does a lot of sheds here. Yeah, but we don't t generally approve cupola as all of them. I don't see many cupola in Yeah. Place. So, your um, cupola is it for you? That's that's your comment? Yeah, I think it's better without it. Okay. Jesse? Yeah, I'd drink. Okay. Have we got any colors <clears throat> on this one? This is natural, and the, the, natural. the door, yeah, the doors will be white. The doors will be white. Okay. okay. Um, John. I think it looks better without a cupola. Well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got a number of other members that are. Uh, can we approve can, this? Can I? Can I disagree? I think it looks. You a lot can better disagree. With the but, uh, <laughs> I think yeah, it looks a lot prettier with the cupola. Yeah, have, have four voting members that are not loving the cupola, so. Um, Hopefully can can I put a weather vane on there? Am I not allowed yeah, to have a weather yeah, vane? Yeah, sure you can. Yeah. Okay. That, that would be far less obtrusive than people. But, but <laughs> Bell had said earlier, and I, I think yeah. it's rare that, rare, dare I say, like unheard of to have a cupola on a shed. So, yeah, weather vane. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, um, so, motion to approve with uh, without a cupola. Yeah. And, and the weather vane. I don't think I've ever had a weather vane it's art. application. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I, so I, I view Cupola as a piece of artwork as well, but as long as I can have my weather vane. Okay. I think so, you can uh, just go in the office and cross it off. The yeah. Plan. So there's a, do you have a further comment, John? Yeah, I have an 8 by 10. Right on the gable end. Yeah. You put a full the floor here. Yeah. And you set the yeah. Main mass on here. Okay. And my, I've got a, a goose in mine. Oh, mine's a whale. Been there for <laughs> um, Well, there's a motion on the table to approve this application removing the cupola. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay, comment. thanks. Um, and did we decide permits plus? Is anyone here for permits plus? That That's item number 16. 16! Well, I'm not going to hear it if there's no one. Motion to hold 16 for representation. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We're holding 16 for rep. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Karen. No. Uh, Julie, I believe. Julie. Julie. What did I do? 17? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no. What am I going to get to a range? Okay, so 16, I can really 16, get power, so. 16 <laughs> hold for representation. Okay. Welcome, Julie. So now we are on to Julie's project at Two Harbor View Way. Okay. Okay. Permission to yeah, okay. come up over here. Um, so this house is kind of fun, which I know isn't like a word that is in your sure. HDC purview, but I kind of treated it tre I, I treated it like a Victorian, and so my gates are a little whimsical. 
And I know they're a little incendiary for in here. But I think Those that they're... Words don't yeah. normally have together. <laughs> yeah. I really... But that would be a fun party, I think right? if there's any Why house that could warrant something a little different and fun, but still in nautical, and kind of a little nod to the Main Street, you know, Marianne Apley's gates, I, I would really that. like to do some nice heavy duty... Of the house. What's the house look like, Julie? Oh, it's is, like a big Victorian thing. Is it the thing that's up in the air? Well, it yeah. was. They've well, been renovating this like crazy. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh yeah. You know, it's the real. It's kind of a stick style house, and it's got a twin right next door to it. Yeah, it's going always down helpful towards to the have boat pictures. Line. It's always helpful to have pictures. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. But, uh, so I'm just going to walk you through the landscape and what yeah, I was okay. thinking, and then you guys can kind of give me some feedback, and if you want some pictures, I can submit some pictures. Um, there is already, I guess, there's already been talk of the double curb cut when this was approved, so that I'm not asking for approval of that. That's already been when it came in with the building. So the things I'm really talking about are the um, arbors, the gates, and I'd like to use some Belgian block edging inside the garden to raise my beds to help to fend off um, seawater and you know that kind of nuisance. And I'm using all the walkways as drains. So um, that's kind of where I am there right now. I think what's approved if you, the two sets of steps off the front of the house curve and meet and um, I'm I'm unclear if anyone brought the that architectural detail to you, and if it needs to be brought as like the, from the builder or something. When you say, okay, yeah, so we that would be two good. Two sets of stairs yeah. here and here, mm -hmm. so they curve and meet. Yeah. So, so Mickey Rowland had them literally oh, so, curving so around the corner. Around. This is here. Right. They just wrap around yeah. the corner. Really. Yeah, and I thought it looked so better no, without them. There's no railing. There is now. I would like there to be. Wait a second. This, can't be, can't be around <coughs> Is your plan proposing that you get rid of the curve? Yeah, the big curving steps. That yeah, I, I don't think that they were there before. No, they definitely. Were. And it was a pretty ugly thing. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, wait a minute. so, so we're going to change that. I mean, we're changing yeah. two separate stairs with a railing in between. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Go on. Really, that's it. Everything else is going to be very typical landscape, you know, Nantucket landscape, gravel drive in the back and shell in the front. Um, utility off that pavement, I thought would be nicer if it was gravel. You know, uh, what's the gravel circle? Um, I'm going to have a large container in there for flowers because I think that a lot of the plant material is going to get killed in the winter. So I'm gonna big put a big copper vessel in that spot. I mean, it won't be over the hedge, so it doesn't really. It's not a fire pit. It's not a fire pit. No, it is gonna Four contain pounds. big bu bouquet of flowers. <laughs> so the only fence really is this, which is, is across the driveway into the front yard. Right here. Oh, okay. And then all the rest. The, the moon gate thing is right on the front. This, but that's set into print. Mm -hmm. And that's set into print. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, so, and this is all painted white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a match trim. So, this. So, yeah. Is, I'm not sure where that is. Which, this is here. Uh, the fence piece. I think we should view this. Julie, so this is here? Yes, this okay. is here. Okay. So my only comment, oh, do you want to? Okay. So I would like to see some pictures or do you. I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm familiar with the area. I've seen the house off. I've seen the work going on. My only comment at this point is that um, as opposed to like a type two, a type two picket fence, mm -hmm. I think that this given the kind of the yard garden style mm -hmm. and then keying off of things around the corner uh, and down the street that that fence would be more of a, a railing style oh fence. okay mm -hmm. it would be a kid 
So you've got it like a railing style top versus a picket fence. What's your rail? Well, it would, it would actually look like more like a more like the railing on the house. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, so oh, that's yeah. why I think I want to see it because I I want to see where these elements either yeah. tie in. Yeah, or it's all straight straight right now. Yeah, it's and like then, bare. It's I, and I kind of knew you were gonna want to view it. Okay. I kind of so then it. you did that and you were actually to eliminate the posts so that the posts became integrated below the handrail. At mm -hmm. the level of the top of the gate, mm -hmm. it makes it much more subtle. It eliminates. I think the posts are in conflict. It's a little bit too, uh, perhaps too much going on. You might change your mind when you see the site because there's columns yeah. all over this. Well, between the, the the gate style and the fence style, and then the post style. I okay. It would simplify it. Uh, so it's a suggestion on yep. one way to simplify it. And I think given the garden, the front yard, garden style, that if you were to integrate the uh, turn that into like a a handrail style mm -hmm. that should be pretty yeah. successful. I like that suggestion. Um, I have no concerns otherwise. Hey, uh, I neglected to read the HSAP comments. Oh. Uh, so, here they go. Too much gravel, but isn't the gravel this small little mm -hmm. issue? Yeah, yeah, that's all lawn in there. <laughs> okay, so that's not a heck of a lot of gravel. I think they're misreading. They probably think that all of this is gravel. Well, I it think said, it's the pattern. It says oh, should, yeah. should be long. So it, it is long. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Check. And then it says oh, circle in front yard. Is this a fire pit? Well, you just no. told us that it is not. That's a wrong location, inappropriate. But again, it's not a fire pit. If it were, I would agree with them. Um, so, are there any other comments? Because it sounds like at least one member of the board wants to view this before they commit to uh, it. Um, yeah, I think, um, I was a view or pictures would be helpful just to see the architectural style of the house versus the gates. Mm -hmm. Um, and as for the gates, the, um, they're, they're very nice and I like them, um, but we do. Um, the um, I feel like the arbor gate either needs to match the uh, the other gates, as in um, being sh short versus the long, mm -hmm. and you could maybe do that by matching the garden gates or double stacking. The, oh yeah, uh -huh. instead of having them elongated like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, I don't love that, but if that's what it's going to take, give it down. So, I, I, you know, it's, <laughs> I haven't seen this in, in a gate anywhere either. You know, I got a feeling it exists. I can't tell you where. But I think I got it out it. of the old fashioned fences book that I do uh, details out of all the time. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that maybe there's one of these around someplace? Um, you know, I don't mind. I mean, I don't mind the double X. Okay. Well, um, John. Yes, I have a question. Sure. One, the scale here is not represented. It's half inch. Okay, let me it's finish. Uh -huh. I'm trying to cover the scale of this. It's be four feet. It's four by seven tall. Okay. Seven foot tall. Four by seven foot tall. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not scale. Okay. All right. So you over here, you've got three sixteen. It's supposed to be quarter inch. Minimum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll rescale. I'll remind the yeah. scale. Yeah. All right, I agree with the other comments, but this is right, this is half inch then. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, but this is, uh, all right, um, I agree with comments. Okay, yes, um, I think there's too much going on for that small piece of land to stay up. Compared to the neighbors, you know, and the, the, uh, this here says you're going to have Belgian block, but over here it says show pocket. The Belgian block is going to be used as an edging. It's just the in edge. the bed. It's going to be laid on edge. Right there. It's just going to hold the beds up a little bit because the house is so high that I just want to get a little like six inches out off the grass so that I have a little. So the beds are a little proud. We're 
driveway is Belgian Drive. Okay, that's Belgian Drive. Okay. So you got a driveway here, a driveway here, mm -hmm. and a driveway over here. No driveway over there. That's just utility. It's not accessed from anywhere. Okay, it's going to be, it's going to be shaped up before we okay. accept it. So Julie will take your comments into consideration, and I think, uh, could you bring in photos of the site, mm -hmm. and maybe of the neighboring house there? Yeah. You know, it's twin right next door. And so we'll make a motion to hold for a view, maybe if you want to make a couple of little whatevers, and then can you just clarify, are the AC part of this application? No. Okay. okay. Uh, all those in favor of Stephen's motion? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Hi, <laughs> sorry. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Okay. Hey, uh, Karen. Sorry. Um, I noticed that Mark Core walked in. Can we go back to Mark? Uh, what number is he? Yeah. The one right here. Which one? Uh, Does anybody want to give me a motion? We're going to go back to sixteen. I'll no, motion to take up sixteen. <coughs> in favor. Aye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. I apologize for being late. Well, we're, we're kind of cruising. Right? Yeah, you are. Yeah. How's the fishing? Fishing is great. Uh, it is? Yeah. It is? Yeah, not here. Oh. You look like you're out fishing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. you're out in Arizona. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Uh, my 630 slot is just... Oh, it's good to have a goal. Uh, good to have a goal. Oh, well, we, we still have 13 minutes. Watch out for that carpet. If you're for what? We're going to be out of here by 6.30. That's our goal. That okay. is impressive. Okay, so Mark, what do we have in front of us? The application before you is a an addition of 336 square feet that is on the rear of the structure that faces Long Pond. It is a sunroom addition. The bulk of the addition is under the existing deck. Now, when I say the existing deck, obviously the deck would be rebuilt as a membrane roof to be able to accommodate the living space underneath. But um, you'll see that uh, the majority of the work is on the back, but there is some work that comes off the side of the existing deck which is represented by the staircase that's being relocated uh, to the western side of the building. Okay. Um, Linda, as a part of thematic advisory, would you like to do an addition? Yeah, we're having yeah. trouble. I know uh, John's going to re-advertise. We're having trouble getting a quorum. We had two oh. of us there. Mm -hmm. So we did a consensus, mm -hmm. and the consensus was um, our biggest issue is the stairs moving out farther than eight feet instead of being integrated in the deck. We couldn't quite tell where the extra uh, flat roof first floor space was um, in our That's cursory first review. First floor space. There's a piece that he's filling in under the deck somewhere. Yes. Which is, we're, what, we couldn't figure out if it was near the stairs or the other part. It's, it it's, the, other part. it's the other part. Okay. It's, it's the linked in the back and it's shown in red on the site plan. The um, issue was primarily with this. There's a lot of flat roof things out there on the pond. The issue was the stairs extending out instead of being within that deck portion. So they're, typically the HTC is not like the stairs floating out there 10 feet off the building, 12 feet off the building. That was our real concern, is that the stairs should be pushed back into that part of the deck and not hung out on the outside of the deck so they're freestanding from multiple vantage points. Mm -hmm. Not that the deck necessarily extended, it was the stairs hanging out there by themselves. That was a big problem. Okay. So if there's any way to integrate the stairs back into the deck or sort of remaster them so they're not hanging out in midair by that, like that and extending the deck beyond the eight feet, that's really where we wanted to go. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, has everyone had a chance to digest this application? Yes. Yes? Yep. And the verdict is? Uh, I, I do think that the integrated stair would be beneficial. Um, I question the visibility without having looked at pictures of what the scrub is there. Mark, is this 
this is I'm thinking that this is it's all vegetated all vegetated scrub yes. Yes. material yes. Yes. is it um, I, 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 I had sent uh, well everything out in Atticut as well so I'd say no more than six to eight feet in, in height but I don't think that the vegetation um, it is like detrimental to you know where everything is placed and how far back the house is from the, from the road it's, it's quite a distance uh, back from the road and the, and the bulk of the work is being done on the back um, does it does it the question I guess is, I'm sorry well with the garage if, the if, visibility of if, if you look at the site plan the and garage, you look at the yeah. position of the garage in context with the house you're not seeing see the stairs is going to be a difficult um, proposition okay so I'm not as concerned about looking straight on here as I am if I'm looking here I'm looking it, here it's very well vegetated it's well vegetated it's okay. very that's well what I wanted to understand yeah. thank you when you say on uh, this angle articulating this thing this the structure of the garage is going to blow you on. can't even when you approach the driveway from the street you can't even see into the end of the driveway so based on the way everything winds in the vegetation okay uh, thank you what is this little building right here in your photo that building is that is some some other property this one there's shed that's not on there. You can, you can yeah, see. but you can see where the deck is, so I think you will see the stairs. Well, see? but this is. But I'm standing in the parking lot of the yeah, driveway. This is here. He's. I mean, he's literally right here. In that picture. That's the first curve. Yeah, I, I didn't go out there, so I don't know. But okay. I, I would like to see it integrated a little more too. The stairway. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jesse, you ready? Um, I mean, yeah, it would be better if the stairway was integrated, but uh, I mean, I don't want to mess with your deck layout either. I mean, it looks like you've got all these uh, second floor doors coming out. Which exist. Which exist. You could run it along the west side wall. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, like that. Uh, okay, let's stay on that just for a second. So, Val, are you suggesting that instead of the stairs sort of being floating out <coughs> off of the deck, that you would take it and you would move it so it was against the west wall and kind of uh, go diagonally across that first floor window? And the air conditioning unit that's at the bottom. This is existing. And the, that I, that I deck exists. Yes, that was what I was saying. And you're saying that's difficult. No, this is I'm saying this is the same. the that context of deck already exists. This is the same. And we're just trying to go off the end of it. If that's an issue, then we'll He's not figure out a, a solution. Okay, Mark. It's the same. It's coming here, the stairs are yeah, yeah, yeah. different. And so what Val was suggesting, the width is the same. Yeah, it goes across our egress window in the bedroom. You can and leave it. The width of this deck. You, you could drawn. still have a space <laughs> and, have <laughs> and have it meet the so end said, of. Now, now she's saying how to come down here. Yeah. Ooh, we thought that would be yeah. more it's obvious existing. than where we put it, it but we'd be happy to do that. Where are you saying that? Okay. I'm you saying so to move this right here so that, yes, there's still so a center. space. See, right now he's having yeah, it come off of yeah. this. And Val yeah. initially was saying coming down here, more yeah. yeah. this yeah. in the yeah. window, yeah. and the boards will get blocked. If we so now it would come down and put this here yeah. on this side. See? Okay. So we missed that and we missed it. We can do that if that's the solution. <coughs> Let's see what everybody's going to want. Um, okay, Jesse, you ready? Yeah, I think that's a, yeah, that's I think it's a, 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 that's a good idea. I was thinking maybe a landing in there, but that would just make it stick out more. Three feet. Uh, it's there to be a landing. Like, you know, maybe change the direction kind of thing. So. Yeah, no, I think what Val. Are you trying to yeah. use this here? Um, 
we're gonna rebuild it. Yeah, that's what I mentioned earlier. Um, hey guys. So it sounds like were you were you guys in favor of <coughs> with having the stair go down as market share? I'm indifferent. You're indifferent. John had suggested we're gonna down, but I was not for it. Eight feet, eight foot max. Yeah. But it's changing so it's both eight feet and twelve feet. All right, so John, I think I'm I know suggesting, where. It, I suggested yeah. this. This move to here needs a space so he can keep his window. Yeah, right. So, John, okay. what's being discussed is that this would move into this plane, would move back to here. So, the stairs would be here. So, then it's not going out any further than it already does. Okay, that's right. when you're forcing exactly. concern. Yeah. All right. Let's, so, that, that sounds like everybody's okay with that solution? Yes. All right. Okay. Um, so, so, motion approved with the stair inset uh, within the plane of the deck is shown in the rightmost plane of the deck is shown in the proposed north elevation. Why don't you do an exhibit A? Or per exhibit A. Yeah, good idea. Uh, thank you. you want that through staff approval? Or yeah. You want yeah. Through staff. All right. Appreciate that very much. Okay. I, I'm not sure we had a vote, though. I. All, I'm still preparing the exhibit A. Okay. Which all right. We all know what it'll look like. We'll, we'll alter the drawing accordingly. So, all those in favor of Stephen's motion to approve uh, the revised location of the stairway off the deck as per exhibit A. Uh, Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Karen, thank you. Okay, Karen. You too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Val. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good morning. Doing my stuff. I just come to ACC and do my stuff. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Kathy, we'll put the exhibit A with the sign application. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just that goes with uh, that. <coughs> All right. So, Karen, this house sits off of Bartlett Road, up back. What the floor? Yes. Um, I'm trying to see, find out your configuration. Let's see. Uh, Okay, so more or less the gable end of this building is T-shaped or L-shaped. Gable end faces Bartlett Road, which is north. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the north yeah. elevation. Mm -hmm. I'll look at that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. So your panels are going on the dormer of the east. Yes. This is a good one. Just the dormer? Yes. Okay. And on the south, as much as we can fit. Wow. Do you have this page, John? It shows each. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Right. So look at these two next to you. So can I tell you about it? Yeah. So this is a commercial building. It's a woodworking shop with a garage apartment. It's set way back, the driveway's long, and it's it's in a really dense area. So there's houses between it, on all sides between it and the road. Um, the, the south side, I know you don't like panels that are vertical and horizontal on the same roof plane, but that side, you can't, It's it butts up to another house and trees. It's that. not visible. Mm -hmm. um, and the dormer, <laughs> the dormers are very high and flat. The east one, you can kind of see from in, from the driveway, but you could not see the panels. You can't see the top of the dormer, and you can't see the rest. Now, just just to 
be clear mm -hmm. to the members of the board. So this east elevation that you're showing us, we're because taking that from the driveway. That's not taken from the public way. The okay. east. That's oh, that's from the driveway. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. So it's we'll, a long, long so way. So unless we're trespassing, you're never going to see. Oh no, there. never, no. no. Bartlett Road is out here. It's way out. Yes. Mm -hmm. This this is this roof plane. This goes on this. Roof Jesse, plane. you look like you. I this think this is a very appropriate application. I have no concerns. Mm -hmm. All right. Now Oliver. It's too willy nilly for me. You mean too? Uh, There's too many panels going in too many directions. Like yes. <laughs> on the west. I, yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Well, look, we'll continue around the table. Uh, Stephen, you ready? Karen, on your uh, sheet, it doesn't have a number. Uh, for sure. Yes. Small can't be light gray. Is that meant to be the dormer? <coughs> the light gray part? Yeah. That's the dormer windows. Oh, okay. Is that see, that's just showing that there's a gap, you know. Um, okay. Right. Thank you. Uh, I, I think the only concern is that the western elevation is the only one that's going to be visible from uh, Essex, perhaps. Uh, but it is going <laughs> to be through an alleyway, so I, I, I'm not thrilled, but I think it's appropriate for the setting. And the west elevation only has panels on the dormer, correct? No, no. there's a few to the side. Oh, yes. I, I don't see. know that this you could see. Yeah. The dormer ones you cannot see because the dormer's so flat. Right, right. And I don't even think you can see the other ones from anywhere because they're so tucked in. Yeah. That's the only concern I have. But it's, it's not a no. Okay. Thank it's you. Just a problem. Uh, John. Yes. Kind of invisible from uh, 30 acres lane. Okay. From 30 acres lane, you look directly across here. Low, low, low brush. You can see the second floor on up. I don't see it's visible. Okay. I just went down there today. I, couldn't, I was yeah, looking for it. I couldn't yeah. find it. Um, and what color is the roof? Photo shell. Right. That's not your old HPC area, and I feel it's not overcoming to look on this usually. Black bezels? Yeah. You want it all black. Right. No silver. You want it all black? No, no, no. Even if the room is black. No silver. Roll the back down. Right. What John is referring to is sometimes the panels have a sort of like uh, framed in like a little silver thing, but I don't think we, we never do that. Ever. No. Um, all right, so Jesse's fine, never Stephen seems to be fine, John fine. Oh, I'm fine. Motion um, approved. All right, I submitted. Due to a super remote location. Okay, sounds good to me. All those in favor of John's motion? Aye. Aye. Now. One opposed. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you, Karen. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sarah. Now, I know you must have just wanted to get me in here. I can't do it with cedar line sets that are uh, not visible from anywhere. Uh, well, we've had a few tonight that oh, okay. Thank people you. were wondering why I wasn't on the consent. Yes, there have been a few. I don't think these are visible from anywhere. But we just enjoy your company. I know. So let's do, well, let's do talk about you. them. <laughs> you can't talk about them for more than one minute. Because you're I know, you're trying to get out of here. Five minutes. I know. So, yeah, we, got, we still so have that. I don't understand the pictures. Uh, so what, what, what are we looking at? You're looking at where the line sets are going to go. go. Uh -huh. okay. And then they're supposed to be attached with the box in of the yeah, it's just a, this. Yes. It's a cedar box. There you go. Uh, so I looked at this, and this yeah. is in conformance with our guidelines. Oh. Nice. That's, that's it. Wow. Okay. Nice to hear. Uh, I would suggest, however, putting the condenser in a window well just for the installer is not a good idea. Just for a good one. 
Because if we get a heavy rainstorm, it's yeah, he's right. It's not a good. Practice. It's not a good practice. Yeah, yeah because they may want to it, but it's none of our business. Right. Yeah. And frankly, this board would should be advocating and going down there, but it's actually a really not a good thing. Yeah. It's just a problem. Um, okay. All right. Well, should I tell them to take it out of there? Um, you might have said you may. Well, I'm assuming this is like a contractor. Yeah. Uh, that knows HVAC system. One can only hope. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah. Well, uh, well you might want to just say, well, it was mentioned at the table. Yes. It might not be the best of ideas to put it down in the, in in, the window well. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. going to be on the west, which is the rear building. So right. I might suggest uh, to Mr. Chairman that if the applicant is amenable, that there would be a lattice enclosure that the condenser would not be visible from at the time of inspection or thereafter. Okay. And then that allows you to put a lattice panel up if it's visible from bottom to slant. And if it's not visible, then you don't have to put a lattice panel up. Okay. But you can also have them take it out of the window well where if it floods, they're not going to have air conditioning. Right. So, okay. Right. We'll have a short out. Okay. Um, All right. That would be terrific. Now, I, 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 I was remiss. I, I didn't read um, HSAP. So it says place on corner boards for natural to weather if not painted. That doesn't even make sense with the application. So it, it should be inside if visible from the street. But uh, obviously, yeah. Stephen reviewed this, and Stephen was which is participated in the uh, creation of those guidelines. So I don't trust what you're saying. Um, John, do you have anything that you want to say on this application? Yeah, it's a good <laughs> Really? Okay. Okay. It's being lovingly restored. I'm good. Yeah. I think we're ready to go. So motion approval is submitted subject to um, the condenser not visible at the time of inspection or thereafter. Very good. In or out of the grounds. Right. In, in or out of the window well. Okay. Right. Thank um, you very much. Bye. All those in favor. Bye. 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 Thanks. Thank you. Sorry to bring you in. Wow. Look at all the great tips I got from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. You guys, you That's like the third or fourth one we've seen that someone put said put in a window well, which is absolutely insane. Sorry. It's a wrap sauce. Here, you're going to have to write your. You wrap too, Matt? <laughs> Matt, the wrap. It's like you need wrap. Uh oh. Here goes our. Oh, oh wait. We only have yeah. one minute left. It's all on Linda. No, it's all on back because we're in opposition like we were the last time. Why? Has this been up before? It was up back in November. I'd like we, to make it up. We killed it and then it, uh, it they withdrew it and then they hired Mac because we were hoping, and you said at the table, that they were hire a local uh, architect and we're still not happy. Um. I can give some <clears throat> background if you prefer, Mr. Chair. Well, first thing I want is, um, I guess you want everyone's names for the record. That would help. <clears throat> uh, Matthew McEachern for the applicant. Tom uh, Linda Williams for the, the butter at 110. Well, when it Lincoln Gifford, uh, Reed Gillis, and Jane Lane Gifford for the butter at 110. You're both here for 110. Yep. Uh, yeah, and now I do remember. Remember this one? Oh, yeah. And we yeah. kicked it to the curb, and they never came back. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> well, go. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, um, I can't really comment on what happened prior. I do have uh, copies of the previous, uh, the last HTC submission. Um, but um, just to quickly recap, there is an existing structure on the property. Um, property card dates it from 1964. <clears throat> the applicants are trying to uh, retain the footprint of the existing cottage and then obviously do an addition to it. Um, as Linda pointed out, they had uh, been before the HTC a few times. Uh, they were working with somebody who was from off island, and so eventually, it <clears throat> just they just kind of stopped, uh, took stock, and um, and then we became involved. 
Um, I think it's uh, worth pointing out, I, I brought actually the most recent uh, HTC submission prior to this, which I think is helpful in the past those around, it's just the elevations. Um, there is a pretty specific program that the owners are um, trying to maintain. They have four children, they're, they're getting older, and they see this as a long-term house for them. So they love the area. Um, uh, you know, they're aware of the opposition by uh, this one of butter. Um, and uh, again, if, <clears throat> happy to reach out to her, sit down with her, walk her through the plans. Um, you know, from my perspective, having taken some photographs of homes in the area, which have took, uh, we just collected some photographs of houses that I think are worth pointing out because a lot of the, um, I'd love the board to see it first. That's okay. Um, which I think demonstrate that there's a pretty varied uh, architectural language in the area uh, that is not limited to single story structures. Um, and so with that, I think that the, uh, you know, the proposal before you is, is in keeping. You know, happy to talk about details in terms of uh, rakes, uh, you know, profiles, you know, window alignments, you know, you name it, uh, I'm certainly open for, uh, for feedback. So. With that, uh, looking forward to hearing what the board has to say. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Thanks. Clearly, uh, the neighbors who have been out there probably longer than 90% of the people in Walwick, except for Crow's Nest, some of them, um, were not in favor of the last one. They maintained some of the last one on the last iteration. But if you read the minutes, we'll put a whole packet together with all the pictures we took from the beach today, et cetera, et cetera, for your next meeting. What we'd like you to do is take a viewing. Um, unfortunately, uh, most of the houses that are east, I believe, of the property are not visible from the road, but they are all fully, here's the house in question, fully, everyone was visible from the beach, and I spent an hour and a half out there today taking pictures. So I'll bring that all in at the next meeting. In a, in a packet for you to see the whole bluff. Um, they're not happy with this. They didn't find out about it until probably Saturday because of the delay and the usual delay in the certified mm -hmm. mail. It wasn't mailed until last Tuesday. And so there was a flurry of emails going around this weekend between Arthur and England, myself, and the Arnolds and her daughter Lydia. I didn't learn about it till this morning. Yeah, he didn't get it till this morning because we were trying to figure out who was going where. And so they would like a chance to take a look at it more um, intensely and come up with more uh, comments other than the fact that it's completely out of step with the context of the neighborhood, even the Walt Winnett House, which we'll show you at the next submission. There are multiple uh, pitch changes, flatter pitches, dormers everywhere. Uh, white trim, which most of the houses up there do not have. I know the existing tiny little house, tiny, tiny little house, tiny, um, has white trim. But most of the houses, particularly going uh, east of here, are natural to weather. There's one oddball pink house. I don't know if anybody realizes there's a so, second pink house here. But that's yeah. mostly one story, except for the later addition, which they did a little sleeping loft. I got pictures of that. It's kind of funky. Um, if you look at the original submission and look at this one, there's nothing really left of the original house. I see a little bit of design stuff. We still have the same, bless you, still have the same problems with the ganging on the west side towards the water. Uh, it was very clear in the minutes that it was overfenestrated. They have pretty much obliterated the existing house. They're doing it probably, uh, we can't speak to it at all, but probably to maintain the concom because this house is sure. closest to the bluff of almost every house out there until you get down towards Pacama. So it, it has a prominence on the bluff, but an insignificance because it's a very subdued structure, one-story structure now in the middle of a lot of structures that have a lot of one-story elements. It's right next to, west of it is, is a, or I think it was towards the Walt Winnett house. There's a one-story structure. The client's house to the right um, <coughs> has a lot of one-story elements and a very small second floor. The one beyond that has a small second floor and a lot of one-story. They, they keep going, but mostly natural to weather, which would help. 
but this is a it's chaotic the dormers are chaotic they've got dormers going into other elements which we don't normally have we've got ganged windows um, transoms uh, there is a way to add on to this thing and we were hoping that they would go that direction but they didn't because when you look at the south elevation and the north elevation they're way out of whack with the original house and you see one wall left of the original house it's just not doing an exterior chimney which was an issue the last time um, as i say i'll put it all together for you so you can take a look at them and the windows aren't lined up on the east there's just a lot going on that has nothing to do with the original house and it's atypical for the bluff especially white trim it should not be white trim when the mass of this house is exponentially probably four times the massing of this little house is being done to this house so that's it for now but we'd like you to take a viewing and then we'll put together our, a full presentation at the next meeting uh, I don't the know if has something to add the only question that I would pose is you know yeah. given the relative masses of the existing structure compared to the I'm making air quotes for the record addition <laughs> end quote um, is uh, I, I'm not sure it, it meets the definition of an addition um, I, I think it's a complete uh, rebuild knock down and rebuild but they're keeping a couple of walls so um, that's something to, to think about the other point uh, is you know in context with the village concept of wall win it um, this is definitely uh, out of scale uh, with the immediate abutters and certainly the uh, cottages across the street you've had a whack at this once last November um, I urge you to go back and take a look at the comments that you all made or those that you were sitting on the previous application made I think they're still all valid um, while we applaud the applicants uh, local sourcing of uh, mm. architectural talent um, we still think there's an awful lot of work to go on this project thank you Rick. okay um, if anybody would like just to throw this out there if anybody would like to go down on the beach um, our client at 110 has a boardwalk that goes down and you can go down on the beach and it's very uh, enlightening to stand there and look all the way from where you go on the sand to Great Point all the way down to Pacma and take a look at the houses as they Did string you out no I've got a boardwalk right down to no, the beach that's what I meant we're you giving you permission to go to 110 we're giving so go you can go to 110 I can go out there with any of you and walk it yeah. Mr. Chair yeah. that's a really valid point what is outside of having access to your brother who is opposing this, how else would you get out there by beach? Or, well, like well almost all of okay, them have so beach access. Um, by boat. Yeah, exactly. I've been up there so, millions of times. You know, back in the good old days when we weren't reviewing so quite so many applications, we took sojourners. We actually used to, not we, but the board used to get a boat at the town dock and Harbor load Mission. out and take a viewing from the water. So we did it with, we did it with that, Penske's five times. Numbers. Yeah, but so <laughs> we I haven't laid off to on a nice side. Well, yeah. It was great so today. It was beautiful today. You see it walk along this, the beach and you might be able to see a silhouette of it from further up Walnut Road towards Cascada, you know, looking back. Oh, you can see the all the way from Great Point all the way to Pacamo if you stand in front of this house. You no, can I'm, see the I'm whole talking block. about from, you know, from the, uh, if, if one of us wanted to view without getting on the boat, we, we could go any further down. No, you just could. walk down our property out yeah, down on the water. I'm talking, you drive as if you're going to Great Point. Yeah. Yeah. Because it does curve, and you can see yeah. back on that yeah. section. Yeah, you can see it. I totally agree with the uh, visibility from a boat. Totally get, get that in the river that used to do that. Um, but I'm saying that uh, the likelihood of pedestrian traffic on the beach, um, I think that should be considered. Not that it's, it's, it's just a point. There's That's a lot of I'm pedestrian saying. traffic because of the well winded house. All right. uh, I'm not going to argue this, yeah. Jeff. Can we please? Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. No, no. I, we got to contain discussion to the relevant matters, and you guys all spoke. We get a chance to take a look at it, and then we move on. Yeah. And, and no one will contest that the view from the beach is a public. Um, Quick. Yeah, go ahead. 
from what I viewed, all right? Yeah. The transfers are very inappropriate. Okay. They need the front door. Standard, standard type of front door. Okay. And they need a good viewing and stakes on, on the two twenty six feet in it. Two stakes up at the top end. Three stakes. Uh, uh, it's three stakes. Just shy of twenty seven uh, feet tall. So we get three stakes across here. Okay, so end. you're 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 recommending putting a stake at either end of the main gable. <laughs> where would the third stake be? Oh, here. all three of them. One this here, gable. One here, one right here, to the chicken height. Exactly. Towards the road would be helpful. And then I'll come with the whole for you. Okay. Thank you, John. Uh, Stephen, I'm sorry, you were. You know, that's fine. So I'd like to point out this was on the view list. Um, number one. Number two, Matt, uh, just to get into some of the architectural aspects sure. of it. I think on the east and the west elevations um, are the primary concerns. Uh, some of these first story elements aren't going to be visible on the north and the south, uh, just as a matter of their first story and typical structures to view. Uh, but with respect to the east and the west, I think the room size, uh, perhaps the mass of, given the sensitivity of the location and the structures in the area, the mass of the, what is on the plan is called the room, I think it is, which is on the east elevation, your leftmost of the oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Um it's, it's out of scale with respect to the structure itself, uh, the main portion of the structure, so I would suggest to the extent that you can bring that down a little bit, in a little bit. Um, also, the mass of the chimney, to some extent, uh, could mirror that change. And then with respect to the uh, primary mass, and I think the simplification, if there's, if there's room or a way to do it, would be with the, uh, the dormers. Um, I'm not positive that you can do it. Uh, make it simpler without eliminating the dormers. But I think that that's where there's more complexity in this structure than perhaps some of the other s structures that are only single story. However, I will be going out to do another view with looking at other complexity on the second story to see what else is out there. Can I just make Please. sure that, I want to make sure that I understand your comment. You're yeah. saying that you'd like to see the building simplified. Yes. Which, in the abstract, would include removal of some of the dormers so that the roof planes are more pure. Yes, and, and I'm pointing out that the dormers are one of those. I'm using them as an example. They're, they're an example, example of things thing. that are yeah, complicated. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that it? Yes. Thank okay. You. Uh, Val, you ready? Uh, yeah. I actually like the east elevation. I think that the main portion of this house makes me think of like an old house that might be out there in the dunes somewhere. Um, I agree with the comment about the, the large extremity on the left and the chimney. Those could definitely be made smaller. The, it's the south and the north for myself mm -hmm. that um, are the anomaly. And uh, as Stephen said, I'd like to see I did go out there, but I'll look closer. What I did see when I was looking at this house was this copper dome at the house next door. It kept drawing my eyes oh, over there. So I oh, yeah. didn't stay too long. But um, And I think that the West is highly fenestrated. I would want to see maybe some reduction in that. Um, maybe get rid of the transoms. I, simplify is a good word. Thanks, Bill. How about you, Jesse? Um, yeah, I uh, agree with a lot of what the board has said, um, especially the, uh, what John said with height poles <laughs> and, and taking a better view with uh, with it. Um, you know, I, I see I see some characteristic uh, the gang windows, the white trim, that that low pitched roof uh, that has characteristics from the old building, even though it's much bigger um, and I um, kind of the same concern is that west elevation and the, the, the fenestration um, um, 
being minimized, uh, south elevation. I, those those are fixed doors or fixed windows on either side of the chimney in south elevation. Yes. So that that might be an opportunity to to, to add just regular windows there, um, maybe. And then I'm you know I'm okay with the size of the building. I think it's just more the size of the fenestration that is. Uh, bothering me uh, except for the chimney the chimney does seem out of proportion yeah like if you get rid of the door on the front of that mate, that little yeah the, or, or even just like the transoms or even something. just the transoms maybe. Yeah. Can you show on the east yes the additive mass oh, oh, the, the concern make yes, those right, windows right, right, so right. it looks more like an additive mass that just faces the road anyway so mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, did, did you That's it. Okay, so I think that uh, the board basically has already covered my concerns, but just to reiterate, east elevation, uh, yes, the mass on the left, which I believe is theoretically a single story mass, can certainly come down. The chimney is, is very large, and it's an outside chimney, which I don't tend not to like. Uh, the fact that that wing is surrounded with this door slash transom arrangement is not pleasing to me. Um, yeah, uh, so I think that covers it. Hey, um, what was the discussion on the age of the existing building? 64. 64, oh, someone? 64. I mean, is it? True that I mean I really couldn't see much of the existing building at all in this, and I don't think it's a big secret that it's being held because of the concom considerations. Um, but is it literally like you just keep in that little label and yeah. um, signal it into the larger volume? Yeah, I mean uh, <clears throat> the gable facade and actually the footprint, the, the foundation actually will remain. Um, it's existing foundation. Yeah. Um, without the kind of, you know, lots of con con. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's being demoed. I mean, I, I can't say that. You know. Well, at the end of the, the day, it doesn't no. matter unless the board feels as if this, uh, this piece is um, historically significant and contributing. Uh, there's, there's not a there's not a piece of it that's other than the roof pitch and the width. Like, what are the other? Yeah, along those lines. I don't see an element. Not sure that anyway. Um, hey, okay. So, normal. but I do believe that John was spot on uh, as the first member to speak when he said viewing with three height poles. We all are we all clear on where those are going? I'm just going to ask for clarification, Mr. Chair. All right, good on that. So, as I understand it. We're going to have one on either side of the uh, ridge of the main gable. Okay, that's two. We good there? Okay. And the third would be at this gable end. However, it should be at the western side as opposed to the eastern side, the side closest to the water, because that's where the visibility is. Going to be. Yes. Can we ask for a demo plan so we know exactly what's left? <laughs> yeah. um, because that's normally what what we've always yeah, had to provide yeah. I think if there's going to be a contributing structure or something of significance that's the level that we would ask for I don't think that we should be putting applicant through hoops for information they don't need as a matter of fact I'm not even sure we required a demo plan on 15 Bassett in full so I gave you a, a demo plan I'm using a, a, a contrast and compare element here I Did gave we, you a full demo yeah, plan on so. that. that that was that my was project oh actually that's right so that's I gave you a packet that, that excuse no. me Linda yeah. that's an example of where we would require one that was a much older Yes, contributing structure. Okay, so we are asking for some revisions. Uh, we're asking for height poles either side of the uh, end of the main gable plus the western face of the subordinate gable. Hey, did I mention that I'd like to see that that ridge go down? 
I no. Think, right? Bob and Ridge? No, no, no. no. The, the yes. The yes. 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 The reason why I'm asking for a demo plan is because it's being presented as if it's an addition. This is being demoed, and that is Listen, going to become an issue at the ConCom. Stephen is correct. We'll request what we request to the board. You're going to get a lot more mileage out of that than the ConCom. You bet. But if they don't have any idea what's being demoed and what's being what's remaining, no, quote no. unquote, the concom is going to want to know how much of that existing footprint is remaining and what's not. And the foundation doesn't normally do it for the concom. Okay, but well, we're no, not the concom. I know, yeah, and, but and that's why you, we'd you, like you to know what's totally, left and what's not. You have another battlefield in which to do that. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, okay, so did we have a motion on the table? No one's made it. Motion to hold for review with stakes uh, and revisions. That's my motion. Okay. Thanks. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, the view motion was the view with stakes, three of them, and uh, and Matt presumably will be doing some revisions to the architecture. Okay. As I say, anybody who wants to drive, we can <coughs> drive into 110, go around the right side of the house, and you see where you go straight down to the beach. Okay. And it's really quite enlightening. But I have a whole thing I'm of sure pictures of it. Oh. It's beautiful there, too. Thanks. Make sure it's a sunny day. Yeah. I'm look for okay. Thank you all. Thank Thanks. you. Um, all right. Uh, so, John has requested a five minute break. Should we just take a five minute? We're still yeah. doing all right. <laughs> We can figure something out. We might not get to everything, but. Because I think Monday's a holiday. Yeah. 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 Y
for like this summer. And you just go out there and just stay there That's and sit so around and write your screenplay. But it's for beautiful. It's really great. That's man, that's awesome. I, know, yeah, I, 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 I know the property, but I didn't know they did it. I think they, it's only a couple of years. Yeah. Ago. yeah. Like yeah. A of years. Oh, I, you know what? People see that, and I never. I have a client that's be. just beyond me. <laughs> well. I mean, Carl, Carl might have done it because Carl had a place out there. Oh, just, yeah, that's cool. So you're fine. Yeah. Well with that one. Yeah. Now, you know, I, was I didn't know any of that was coming until cool. cool. really she did give me a little bit of a hint. But but she's like basically beautiful. coming for you. Yeah. I mean, but the hey, I just like you know, you know, the room. We got to do it. Yeah. It's really funny because they say don't try to maneuver because there's no fire, which turned out not to be true. And so, okay, so it's like this fleet of Ubers going down that building. Where was road. that? Almanac Pond Road, you know, Seward Johnson's barn there? Yeah. With the, all the horse paddocks? Yeah. It was there. You had a rave? Yeah, it was a rave. An old person mm-hmm. rave? Believe me. An old person yeah, it was a rave. <laughs> no, no. Lisa says, we're the oldest people here. <laughs> we weren't. I think John Shea was older than us, but he was maybe the only one that was older than us. What he, was he, that he, for? He wins the most well-preserved. He yeah. does. <laughs> he's he got some energy. All of that he's got a lot of energy. Uh, okay, I think we're, we're ready to wrap it up. Um, okay, so we're back in session. What do we have here? Let's see. Revision to the penetration. Uh, oh no. Oh, I was waiting for it. This is. I don't know how eternal. anyone can live with a family room that's only 37 by 20. People gotta live, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Real hand and mouth stuff. Yeah. So, so start and start. Go ahead. So uh, these are some fenestration changes, uh, mostly on the back of the house uh, and the side. If you go to A two point two, um, starting an east elevation, um, we're looking to change some fenestration uh, to smaller windows in the second floor. We're also, just noticing too, by the way, that. The, um, we could actually take that dormer that's adjacent to the second floor dormer and make those the same size windows. Just, just so Hold on. Yeah. You're going too fast. Sorry. For old me. On the, uh, so you're on the east elevation. East elevation. Um, so you're going, you're taking that one dormer and instead of having double home, you're going to little six light whatevers. Yes. And what were you just about to say about that? I was that? just kind of looking at it before the meeting and I was saying that the double hungs that are in the smaller dormer to the left of yes. that dormer yes. could just as easily be that same size window. I was just thinking that might be more consistent. It's kind of it's not right. critical. But well, before we get into yeah. scrutinizing it. Sure. So there's that and then also on the east elevation um, we're adding we're looking to add some transom dormers uh, transom windows i'm sorry above the existing six over sixes and um, spreading them apart spreading them apart yeah that's actually was a game window um i think that we're doing something slightly smaller uh i think we're kind of pulling those two windows apart it's a small change on that little kind of bump out mm-hmm. on the first floor uh, but in that back dining area um transom. the transoms um, and we see that also on the south elevation. Yes. And then we're also removing uh, a window uh, on the south elevation. Uh, or yes. Mm-hmm. So that's not a window. We're losing. The, it's a little teeny tiny door. You know, yeah. The door. Yeah. Uh, and then on the front of the building, um, we were just changing a larger double hung to a smaller six light. Uh, that's it, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Well, no, it's not. No? I no. forgot about the transom on the west elevation. Yes, thank you. Okay. I was going to say that, but I <laughs> don't think it's... Okay. Um, who wants to begin? Adjusting for a minute. Uh, Matt, the east elevation, I guess, I, would, I guess, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 
Well, first of all, I think the south is the paper road in the back went in a yard sale, correct, Matt? Yes. So there's no public access view there. So for me, the south is not a concern. Um, on the first floor, on the second floor, you might see something from Bishop Rise, but you're not proposing any changes on the second floor to the south. The east, um, but that first floor, 36 feet above sea level, I guess. We're going to see, well, how much of this, these, tran these transom over double hung are are obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I'm just trying to understand the visibility there. I think this is the most visible side. This is the north. Yeah. And you're driving well, out. The sorry, road. the east. The east. The east. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, man, my concern is with the transoms over the double hungs and uh, the doors, and then that dormer, uh, the change in the fenestration there to the whatever. That's going to suggest just doing them all the smaller windows. I'm going to I'm going to add to okay. your suggestion. Yeah. You want to hear my suggestion? Yeah, please. Yeah. All right. So, I. The bottom cord of this gambrel is very steep. It's almost like a mansard like this, mm -hmm. which means that when you move the wall of the dormer in, the face wall, the window wall of the dormer in, by like six inches, you lose all of that, you lose like almost all of that uh, shingle bit so that the transoms, or the, not the guts, the windows, are actually sitting in a wall that's much smaller than that would definitely help yeah because mm -hmm. you don't want to have this massive amount of shingle underneath but mm -hmm. because that bottom cord is so steep you push that wall back just a little bit and shh, the roof goes up and covers most of it sure all right anyway yeah i would uh i think that that would be preferable in both instances on these the matching dormers dormer faces in the fenestration and um and south, uh, east, I don't get on the north. Nothing, nothing on the north, north. nothing on the west. On uh, the north, it's just that one. Window. And on the west, it's that transom over the door. Yeah, man, I'm sorry, I can't. Those, those yeah. transoms are. Yeah. Totally. That's why I'm here. Val. Okay. Um, I agree with what's been said and suggested. I would nix the transoms. My guess is if you nix them on the east and the west, you're going to want to get rid of them on the south, but that's up to you. Um, look, this house is very there in every direction, and I just think it's asking for more than it needs to have. It, it's beautiful the way it is. I think they can probably live without that little extra foot of light in the window. Mm -hmm. Jesse, right? Uh, yeah, I think I just uh, agree with the board, really. I mean, I don't. It, it, uh, I'm, the the transoms on the south elevation don't bother me due to visibility, but once you change it on the east of elevation, then, you know. What happens there? So mm -hmm. um, I just yeah. Go to the board. Okay. Thank you. Uh, because the, the north elevation, I take it the way that light line is drawn. Is that your screen door? Uh, which one? Uh, uh, no, it's just um, it's in shadow. It's just in shadow, I guess. So yeah. maybe she maybe she needs six pounds. Um, you know, we, uh, that is not a uh, screen, but it is a two panel. Uh, we did get it approved. Um, it's I mean, solid, I, right? Yeah, yeah, it's solid. <coughs> um, apparently, most of this has already been approved, right? Yeah, just if, with uh, the exception. I agree the transfer should all take a hike. Huh. And who on the commission voted for the, uh, roof walk? Uh, you mean the roof walk? Oh, 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 that thing yeah. in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 okay. <laughs>
thought I would ask. Mm -hmm. And okay, the uh, I, I just hit the trash trash is going to fall. All right. The most is that everybody? I think so. Yeah. Mark known for revision. Okay. That's fair. So pretty much universal support for the transit. Yes. You got it loud and clear on that one. Man. Well, the sound like you got them on the south. Yeah. Well, we probably because <coughs> that room is kind of through, but um, definitely appreciate your just uh, feedback on it. All right. Um, <coughs> All those in favor of Stephen's motion, which was to hold for some minor revisions. Aye. Aye. Okay. Val, well, thanks again for all these. You're welcome. So this is the house that uh, we approved. These are oh, yeah. somewhat minor revisions. Uh, I'll go through them. Uh, yep. By elevation. Uh, on A2.1, the uh, center door. Uh, we're hoping to make it just a little bit wider. I actually think that the uh, window to wall ratio is a little more consistent. So it's good. Um, on the south, sorry, on the uh, north elevation, uh, that center door uh, got wider. Uh, the reason being is we have a bathroom there, and the headroom was getting really empty. <coughs> um, but okay, so uh, that's getting wider. Um, on the south elevation, still on A2.1. Uh, we made a change to the uh, dormer on the left side of the roof structure uh, to kind of more of a transom type dormer, something a little bit smaller for scale reasons on the interior. Um, I think there was some very minor uh, changes to the dormer, I think, uh, fenestration. Actually, we did lower um, the eave height in the back uh, slightly. If you look at the comparative previously approved south elevation, the rear eave was actually higher. Um, I see that. We lowered it. Um, now, how how did you accomplish that by dropping the bridge or changing the roof pitch? Or um, we dropped the plate on just the south eave. Um, I'm okay. curious about a, the residual effect because we didn't drop the plate on the uh, on the north. So that means you kind of salt boxed it a little bit. Yeah, it's very very slight. The primary reason okay. was our sill was uh, just, it was too close for comfort in terms of 44 inches off the, mm -hmm. okay. so we did that. Um, I think those are the only changes on the south. <clears throat> and then on the west, um, we're proposing, oh. <laughs> I know, jeez. Francis, it's damn Francis, oh. but they look. And that's probably look, seeable. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'd have to look at it. I mean, inside the building, it looks great. <laughs> um, but uh, Is this frame? <clears throat> what's that? Is it frame? No, no, uh, it hasn't started yet. Oh, so uh, we're just kind of going through it. Um, and then the other change was um, the uh, triple uh, C types. I think I can't see them because the print is so small. But the, the three smaller window types. Eight. Thank you, the chair D types. Um, just as just there's a bed wall there and it's an overhead, so okay. probably that's less critical. So, anyways, all that. All right. Thank you. I can go. Go ahead, Justin. Um, I'm okay with the changes on the north elevation. I think it's an improvement. I'm okay with the south elevation changes um, and the west elevation um, the transoms uh, maybe if we kept the, uh, the the lights above the transoms that size and, and remove the transoms that might be a good compromise um, 
Say that again. So the, the right now there's existing four lights. Yeah. You um, want to keep, keep the, them the, that size and remove the train. Yeah. Uh, wait a second. You want to keep the four light windows as per previous? No. No. Nope. No. Keep them as planned, but remove the transom. So basically, remove the G's over the windows on the first floor. Oh, right? and then allow the F's to go in. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sorry for no, not being um, <clears throat> Nope. And you're okay with the switch also on the west elevation for the two double ones to the, the D windows, the triple D? Yeah, I mean, it's. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Um, Val? I'm, uh, I'm, if you're ready. Yeah, I'm good with the front. I think that's fine. And I'm assuming the rear can't be seen, which is fine. But I think the west, if that's at all noticeable, it just seems a little bit off with the two different size doors and, mm -hmm. and then. The D windows in the front are fine. I think that's probably a kitchen right or something. It's a bed. Uh, it's a bed. For the west? Yeah. It's a um, headboard. But the... I kind of like Jesse's suggestion of the bigger transom moving down, but we'll leave that up to you. Sure, good. Um, maybe I misunderstood again. Yeah, I'm not... I, I thought... I thought Jesse was suggesting uh, allow the um, four light window that was previously approved to be switched out to the larger F2 light. Oh, where not it moving is, them down? Where it is, no. Okay. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's where it is, but do not allow the G transoms above the A windows. Okay. So basically, the, the change would be to go from the four light windows to the bigger F2 light windows. That was what Jesse was proposing. Sorry, but I you're, didn't understand. But you're allowed that. to have your, your own opinion about this, too. No, I just thought it was moving down instead of the G. Well, it just kind of keeps the windows as yeah. is by removing, removing the transom, yeah. but the bigger windows up top bring the light in. Yeah. And if I could, Mr. Chair, just offer one thing on the West, all these windows tripled. If I could. Revert those back to the way they were, um, because the bed wall still works there. That's not a deal breaker. Okay. Uh, not for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, was that it? No. Yeah. Okay. It, I think it's the double dormer, and then the windows on either side of the fireplace. So on the double dormer, uh, Matt, I agree with the comments about the windows, Jesse's, and also the transoms. Um, on this double dormer on your south elevation, I think I have a suggestion that might help you on your west. I think it's your west elevation. Yeah. Which is to differentiate those dormers a little bit in height. Um, I wasn't going to mention it because I don't think that you can see from on the south elevation, you can't see this detail from the street because this smaller dormer is inset. Mm -hmm. um, but if you were to lose six inches there and bring your fascia down uh, mm -hmm. similar to what you've got on the dormer to the right, mm -hmm. you're going to you could drop your roof plane down six inches and on your west elevation, that's going to better differentiate these two planes a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, some of this roof line uh, at the top of the dorm, the smaller dormer would get lost behind the chimney. Mm -hmm. So I think it may help give that a better, Less of a sense of competition. Yep, I don't see why we couldn't do that. Um, and uh, and it addresses a concern I have, but it's not a visible concern. Okay. Happy to do that. Does that help with you with the dormer? Yeah. To reduce that. Um, <clears throat> I can. Or I'm gonna Sorry. John. Hey, John. <laughs> Two okay. transfer windows should be eliminated. The G windows? There's yeah. oddity in there. Okay. Uh, what were you going to say? I was just going to make a suggestion. I actually um, was talking with a client today. They wanted to make an adjustment to the pergola, like reduce the depth of it, and kind of make really other minor changes. 
Well, I was going to suggest I'm happy to uh, hold for revisions to make some of those changes because there's going to be others. Well, Instead of coming back a second time, save yeah. you the paperwork. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Motion to hold for revisions. Right. Hold it. Aye. Aye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold for revisions. Matt's got some other stuff he wants to bring forward. Huh? And We're on 23. Uh, 23. Yeah. Yeah. We're on 23 and there's no one else in the room. So make a motion hold. <laughs> uh, okay, so Center Street. This is our. Um, well, big yeah, I don't know why. Is this. Huh. Okay, HSAP, while you guys are unrolling this. So West this Elevation, Central Section 2 High. C. Where the Center Street Bistro was, or is going, I believe. That's not India. Oh, 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 I get it. Central section too high, C south elevation below, which I'll read in a second. Windows seem too narrow on first floor, odd proportions, perhaps three windows instead of four. Is it necessary to get rid of pipe in between Robert's house? Nice quirky feature character. South elevation, central section should be lower to be more appropriate additive mass. Other retained chimney, we would like to see revisions. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. Brief history, Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is uh, what they call the meeting house. Um, the, uh, the new owners are looking to renovate. Uh, there's existing hotel rooms in the second and third floor. Those will remain hotel rooms. Um, the first floor uh, is going to be um, completely renovated to be just a single uh, occupant, um, which would be a, a restaurant and a, a kitchen. Um, the main portion of the house, the historic uh, portion of the structure, uh, will be maintained. Uh, we're actually not really making uh, planning to make any changes to the exterior trim detail, which are fairly elaborate. It'll be a mostly repair, um, you know, uh, as needed approach. Uh, <clears throat> I'm seeing with just general um, scope here. On the west elevation, there's the existing one-story uh, hip uh, additive portion, which, if you look at the existing condition drawings, uh, which is drawing two on A2.1, you'll notice that it's. Um, it was clearly a porch that was enclosed, and the detailing is, if you get a chance, you can look at the photographs, it's, 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 it's unique. I think it's something kind of kind, um, but the intent is there, uh, and this is a very, you know, a familiar place to all of us. So uh, the idea here was to um, uh, emulate that notion of uh, higher fenestration, uh, essentially still try to maintain this notion that this was uh, a porch at one point that was infilled. And so what we've done is uh, integrated these uh, pilasters um, and then uh, filled in those that spacing with, with glass, double hung glass. Uh, I did read through historic structure advisory comments. Um, you know, the proportion of the windows is more vertical than those on the second and third floor. So I'm certainly open to, uh, you know, looking at options that may get us a little bit uh, closer to the proportion of the uh, second and third floor. So I, that's something I can certainly work on. Um, one thing also to consider, just bigger picture here, is we do have to maintain accessibility, um, and so we you'll see that in the supplemental three-dimensional uh, sketch perspectives, you'll see that we've got a, a one in twenty ramp um, to make it accessible. Um, I would just go around the building really quickly. Hey, uh, can you clear, clear something? Up? All right. So one of the comments from HSAP was on the west elevation, and the very first thing they say is central section too high but what are they talking about i don't know i think i know yeah. what, i think i i think i know what they're talking about but i don't know if it's the west elevation i think it might be the north i think they meant east well then they then they say refer to the south below so if we go to the south so i think they're talking about the south elevation what i what I think that they're referring to that, uh, in that comment, Mr. Chair, is the if you look at the existing south versus the proposed, 
Yeah. We are adding a second floor on that rear L. Right now, it's just a and, and everything. Yeah, and I think that I think that's a, that's what they're referring to. Um, but and I'll get to that. But I mean, I don't really think that you really see that portion of the building. Um, and I think that that's why I tried to. Uh, supplement with these renderings just to show we've got all three buildings rendered and so you can really see how their masses intertwine based on the site plan the positioning of these buildings is very uh, I don't know how to describe it but it's, it's certainly not they're not orthogonal to one another um, and so how they interrelate uh, I think is relevant because this rear portion of the building is essentially in my opinion obstructed by its two adjacent buildings and I think that first image on the supplemental renderings demonstrates that um, just to keep going um, the other probably more uh, you know significant uh, change would be um, on the north elevation we are adding a similar uh, bump out so one of the goals here was to try and add some square footage to the building but then not take away anything from the existing structure but have it be an additive uh, architectural element uh, and what better way to do that we thought then was to emulate an existing one-story element I think that the way that this one story element, uh, the idea of it is to present itself to the interior courtyard. Um, we have looked at, just FYI, if you look at the north elevation, or north elevation exclusively, um, you'll notice that this bump out is, uh, is not necessarily centered. We did explore the notion of having that porch run the entire length. There is technically a way to do it, um, but I, I, we kind of this is kind of a first run at it. We think it works, but I'm open to uh, suggestions on that. Um, again, the rear L uh, was a later, much later addition. The building is not in great shape, but we understand the value of the historic structure, uh, and uh, we have every intention of maintaining it uh, in its uh, current iteration. Um, as far as the HSAB's comments on the connector between this and the um, Roberts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so there is a little connect, uh, actually a connect door, an enclosed connector between these two structures. It's small. Um, it actually technically is the accessible entrance. It doesn't meet the accessibility code at this point. Uh, the primary reason um, the fire separation uh, between the structures, uh, it's an uninsulated connector piece. Um, and uh, in order to um, maintain separation between the structures um, if they disconnect them. So there may be a way I don't, there may be a way to do as a breezeway or something like that if, if the board felt strongly. So um, that connector right now is this little orange dash line. Yeah what it is. I believe so. Yeah. Right yeah. here it's really small. And you're mixing that and just putting this deck. Yeah. And there may be a way to integrate some kind of covered Piece, but um, for the code uh, analysis, it was determined that that was an important thing to do. So. Um, I think that that is mostly it. Um, we did put a uh, concealed deck on the east elevation. You can't really see it. This is way, way back the concealed. building. Concealed. Concealed. That's why you can't see it. That's why you can't see it. Yeah. And the, well front, concealed. The, the reason being is uh, condensers, kitchen equipment. Chillers, uh, it's obviously a very tight site, and so we were trying to find a place that was furthest from the street, lacked visibility, uh, and would facilitate the mechanical needs of the building. So, with that, Mr. Chair, I look forward to hearing what the board has okay, to say. Okay, great. Thanks. I hope that person gets a discount. Yeah, right, right. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Matt, uh, first of all, I think you should be commended. Uh, I think you've done a great job with this. And um, my primary concern is with respect to the. Wait a second. Uh, it's a predominant feature, which is the uh, enclosed. You know, this concept of enclosing a covered porch. Mm -hmm. Um, and the vertical, more vertical windows. I just, I, you know, kind of mock, mocked up. If you were to put a, a, a full beam uh, below, 
they were to build down trend as a fascia below the beam, below your mm -hmm. uh, eye whiskers. How proud are those in your design? I mean, it's hard to tell in the two dimensional. Are they? Is it a couple blasters? Is it yeah, like this face versus the trim, uh, the window casings? Okay, so if that were a little bit more, you'd have some depth to uh, build down and add a layer, a fascia above your existing fascia. Um, six inches isn't going to do it. It would have to be nine, probably closer to 12. Um, so basically what you would be doing is building down what would appear as a sub fascia between the uh, pilasters. Um, and then you could continue your existing detail. So there would be a, a, another layer. I'm not sure I'm articulating that. You are, you are. And can I suggest maybe another way of looking at the same thing? Yeah. Because I, I see what you're getting at. Because it's good, those windows, because the beam is directly over top of them, yeah. they're going to read like really heavy eyebrows on somebody. Mm -hmm. so it's yeah. the way out. Um, and so you're trying to get more separation between that projecting beam and the window. And address the verticalness of those windows. Oh, because what I was going to say is he could he could either build down, which is going to reduce the head height of the window, or he could take away from the very large beam that's above right. and you know, lift it up and get more space that way. Um, and, but, but continue, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. No, that makes sense to me too. So the other thing may be that the, the um, pilasters become nine inches versus 12, mm -hmm. and I, then you start to pick up. I, I'm not redesigning your design, I'm no, just trying totally to give you some. The, I, I felt the same way, actually, that they looked a little kind of vertical and tall. So They're very, when I yeah, read their comments, I didn't, I didn't yeah. disagree with them. So uh, Unfortunately, it's also very clean. Yeah. I mean, it looks it's attractive, but it's not necessarily appropriate relative to the existing structure and the, and the proportions, mm. which is unfortunate because it's a very clean design, and I think it's successful in that regard. But with respect to the verticalness, I think if you were to build that down, and create another layer of fascia um, that would I, I would caution you not just to make the existing head casing taller mm -hmm. because I think you need a sense of depth there that if you were to add a full beam above the head casing and then the head casing you would it, it would be more successful I think in my mind and it's an important point to get into the reason I'm getting into details because this is such an important building in many regards, and it is so visible and it is so known. One like Robert's house has fabulous detail. Yeah. Like yeah. incredible. Yeah. So that's the only reason I got into that level of detail. <laughs> no. But I think it, you know, you're doing a great job. I, I don't disagree. I think I have a couple strategies. Cool. I agree with the heaviness of that. Heavy okay. Beam. Um, that you guys was that it, Steven? Yeah, that's it. This is this uh, nice Val? Uh, this is going to be a good time for Ready next call or? Right. Um, no, I don't have anything else to add. Um, how about you, Jesse? Um, the uh, you know the verticalness of those windows, in, uh, in, in Steve addressed it really well, and uh, so I don't really think it, I need to add anything to that other than I'm not sure if it would work or even if it would, but if the the original first four windows are 12 lights. Um, if we were to try to bring those back in, I'm not sure if that would help, help the cause. The original first floor windows were 12 lights? Or, or is, that, is that these here? Or is that on, on the inside? <coughs> these, so no, they, they are right. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And we what could, we could on, just, uh, I'm on page A211. Okay, I think the original on the upper right, they just had those picture units. Oh, I'm not sure if that could help with making it more Look at that. less vertical. Yeah, <laughs> by adding those panes. Let me see that. Um, and it would carry back to the original building. Um, and then my, you know, the only other concern is is the. The age of the back L and the significance of of it. Do you have any historical information on that? Uh, the Sandworm maps. Um, 
you could demonstrate that it was added um, sometime in the 20s or after that. Uh, but we do have the supplemental sandborns. Um, really love what you did with the uh, north elevation. It that's I think an improvement to the uh, to the building, and that's um, so it's the so I guess the the original building is the somewhere in the early 1800s, and then the yeah yeah the uh, main the, body the, is, and then the L was the later in the 1920s. Twenties. Um, so uh, I think there's a good stretch of time there between the two that I'm not concerned about the historical significance of the L as well. Thank you, Justin. Hang on one second. Yep. Um, John. Going to page A31, last page in the thing. Mm -hmm. Good page uh, up the top front right top right side shows that a breezeway. Yes. I mean, it's for the problem. Quick history. This is Rob Caroline Robert who owned the house. She bought the one next door. He, the people go up there to go in to eat. You should get wet walking across this rope three three and a half feet high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Off the ground. And uh, uh, I'm just gonna say. Yeah, you had an opening underneath. Really, underneath of it, you could crawl under to get to the back. When I was twelve years old. I delivered Western Union telegrams in the downtown area. Oh, goodness! I go at the front door. You you, you, you drop the telegrams for the day. You have your eight thirty, quarter nine. You drop off. You give your quarter if you felt like it. No, I'd come up there, run around that building, crawl under there. I miss Perry was the cook there in the kitchen. Always had nothing. Cookies, okay, or something. Oh, but it's wow. good memories. It's a lot of this. Uh, that that's like. awesome. Yeah. Of reason enough. I, 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 I think what's going to go here, I think, I make, I make no comment. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thanks, John. Well, I'm, I'm just going to underscore a couple. Of, I just want to make sure, uh, because I do, I would like your motion to include it going back to HF. Okay. Um, so, the obvious one is the verticality the windows that have been discussed. Now, um, <clears throat> I would uh, just want to go on the record saying that HSAP's uh, concern with the rear L, you know, the back part of this getting too high and going lower in relation to the main volume, I really, uh, if there's any visibility at all, you know, it's going to be bleeding and really difficult to even tell that it's part of this building or whatever. So. I think his 3Ds will be helpful to them. Yeah. yeah. So, in other words, um, I have less of a concern both from the historical perspective and the fact that it's a you know, fairly tall addition onto the building. I can so correct the record. It. That's all you see. the motion? Uh, the motion, Val had started a motion. A motion to hold for revisions and to send back to HSAB with the three Ds. Very good. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Repeat that. The motion is revisions, uh, and then it's going to go back to HSAB with the three D views that, that Matt had presented just so they can re review it. Um, okay, so all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Matt. Uh, looks like we're going to be getting out of here before the sun, well, before it gets dark. It. So, motion to hold 24, 25, and 25 and 26 yep. okay. for representation. Yeah. yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Not that specific detail, but that handrail that you see, the fence you see along the, the street. Yeah. In a, it's kind of a handrail detail. Oh, this is the idea. Yeah. Not that no, particular no, I actually, wide, Wait, but I want you to notice the I metal do, pipe it. in there. <laughs> no. I, I just had to tell the Well, you know, it's funny because, you know, that is a, that's that's an AC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no way he splits there. So Lisa was doing a stove pipe on something in Sconset, and um, I Sconset that. advisory <laughs> said no problem. And she said they must not have seen the stove pipe. And I said, oh yes, they did. But remember when um, 
Angus came in with mm -hmm. all that historic yeah. documentation of the old stove pipes. Which is fascinating. So yeah. yeah, they did exist. Okay, so let's see here. Um, vineyard wind, do we want to uh, have do you, do you want to do minutes first and then I'll... Uh, sure. Very briefly. Do you want a motion to approve minutes of May 7th? Okay, Anyone? motion. All right, all those in favor? All right. All right. Uh, Terry, I'm a no, just to have reviewed them. Okay, Are you saying no or a I'm a no, You're just not. so I... Okay. Uh, <laughs> Vineyard Wind? So Vineyard Wind, there's been some activity. Uh, we worked as a, as a work group. We have, uh, a while back we had, uh, the HTC had voted to make a recommendation to the work group to hire uh, council to represent uh, the interests of the HCC in the town in the Section 106 process. Um, that has, through a process itself, come to fruition. Uh, that uh, cultural, cultural Heritage Partners is an attorney firm that was engaged, and they have on their staff directly, indirectly, uh, a member of another, a, previous member of another organization, uh, <coughs> which the acronym eludes me, but um, all big hitters in this area of law and expertise. Mm. Uh, the upshot of it was that uh, work group worked with them to compile information that they put into an outline and developed into a letter sent on to uh, BOEM, which is the regulatory agency with oversight. Um, the goal there was to get uh, a more level footing with the applicant developer, keeping in mind that BOEM is the regulatory agency that is in charge of, they are the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, so their mission is to develop the oceans uh, for, for energy use for national, national, as part of their national policy. Um, the letters, uh, let's see, so the council became involved in the process. Um, it's similar, to, my belief is it's similar to going to some local boards where if you don't have an attorney, it's not that you're not taken seriously, it's just that there's a different weight involved uh, uh, and significance, and that has proven true, and uh, we believe that BOEM is kind of slowing down and revisiting their process. Um, with the end result being, uh, it's our hope that uh, we'll be looking at a mitigation fund uh, to address uh, historic um, education, tourism, preservation, and restoration for on an island-wide basis. And it will be. I don't. We don't know numbers. And we don't. We can't make promises for certain. But the the. Inequity of the current situation where the BOEM is basically recommending some $350,000 worth of mitigation for Nantucket uh, versus the $90 million in a similar, in a, in, a, in, a, in a project of less significance where $90 million in mitigation was awarded. This is in some other Yeah, uh, the uh, James River, uh, historic James River in Virginia. And uh, there was, 90 million. Yeah, there's a transmission line, transmission lines going through. Uh, and interestingly enough, we brought up the James River case because as a result of lack of process and methodology or inadequacies in the process and methodology that the regulatory agency was following in that case, in that application, a federal judge actually revoked the permit after the project was completed. So we happen to bring this up for both the monetary significance, but also the significance of following the proper procedures yeah. and methodologies. Um, it's it's a work in progress. There's nothing to guarantee that they're going to be responsive, but uh, we do have. Um, there are other uh, advisory groups involved: the uh, AHCP, the uh, NPS, the I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank on acronyms tonight. NPS is the National Park Service, and yeah. they weighed in in support of concepts that were brought forth that we've been bringing forth as a work group during the Section 106 hearings. 
that were formalized by us uh, cultural heritage partners uh, partners the attorney group hired by the town nps came out national park service came out and supported that the um achp came out and they are uh, weigh in on any uh, national historic landmark review process that gets government funding um and they've also come out in support of various points that we've brought up so the end result being uh we have not only the expert council but because of their connections and involvement in this area there are other people and other in, in, uh, institutions that have kind of said wait a minute we're, we were missing this yeah like we looked at it but we missed this and now they're weighing in and they're weighing in on our side of the scale with the hopes that it balances out because we are working with the developer and boom in good faith we're not looking for an unfair advantage but we are looking to be a, we are looking to have our concerns addressed in an appropriate manner and mitigation is the only way to do it because there will be an adverse effect on the national historic landmark in terms of the cultural and uh, uh, heritage and the visual effects just national historic landmark so from what i understood from previous conversations that we were going to try or you were going to mm -hmm. to make the ocean a national historic landmark and that uh that yeah. sound there it, so sound is different no sorry not sound so uh save our sound that's a little bit different but related uh yeah. save our sound came in and they were looking for support a letter of support from the uh, uh Nantucket historic district commission which we granted to um in their efforts to make Nantucket Sound a national historic landmark. So there there may be some, that unfortunately is gonna be tied up. That's a very long process, um, literally years, depending on how it goes, goes through, uh, the different portions of the regulatory process and the different agencies and committees and so on and so forth that involved. But it would be helpful for us in the future to have that dedicated. Oh, yeah. Helpful for us Jeez. as a as Nantucket as a national yeah. historic landmark yeah. to have that also a national historic landmark. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of where we are. I did want to. Um, I did want to. Uh, I think it's important, and we discussed in our work group that we would issue a letter of support for other letters of support, so that we're all supporting one another. And um, with your permission, and I think, I don't know if a vote's necessary, I'll draft something for you, Mr. Chairman. I think if this, the letter that I'd sent with respect to mitigation uh, requests uh, was more of an inter-process letter. Uh, so as your representative, I, I put that together and sent you a copy. Mm -hmm. This, I think, is something that I would suggest that would have your chair, the chair sign, as a representative of the commission. Okay. Um, so I can put something together and forward it to the towns. Great. Uh, do we want to vote on that? Sure. Hey, before we do, I, I and forgive me if I've already. Asked I'm sorry. The advisory. Oh, your advisory on council on historic the advisory council on historic preservation. I had the acronym wrong. That's why I couldn't come up with it. Advisory council is A C H P. That's it. Okay, sorry. Okay, I think you may have answered this for me already, but it has more relevance now that the numbers are changing, potentially. We are, all this discussion is only about the first parcel, Correct. right? Correct. And the other parcels are going to come. And I believe that the answer was what happens with the first parcel, which also just so happens to be the closest parcel to us, will sort of determine the fate of. Of the ones that come subsequently, they get that right. Yeah, but we all, we're going to have another crack at this five with, more times. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so, the, I think the critical element in that is there's two is twofold. One is that all, because this is the closest, it will tend to have the most impact visually and culturally, mm -hmm. um, and therefore there's potentially more a greater amount of mitigation involved in terms of the value than the other projects. Right. In, of, in and of themselves. However, the second point, which is very important to keep in mind, is that the regulatory agency is required to review the cumulative effect. And wow. given that this is 826,000 square acres, First of its kind. there will be 
the cumulative effect will out may even outweigh the visual effect or the cultural effect if it were project number five by itself versus project number five in the context of the whole. So although because num let's just use numbers, number one, the current, because it's number one in sequence, figures win, is closer. Mitigation may be X, Y, and Z, whereas number five is further away. And logically, you might say, well, that's going to be less mitigation value. In and of itself, if it was just number five, yes. But given that it's part of a whole that will have a cumulative effect. It's, it's then like it, if you have an, a, a river and you go through a regulatory process to put in like a, a, a nuclear power plant. Yeah. And you get all that stuff together, and then there's a second nuclear power plant, and a third, and a fourth, yeah. and a fifth, all in a row down the river. Well, of course, the cumulative effect by the time you get to number five is multiples of yeah. what the one by itself yeah. is. So that makes sense. 826,000 square acres just for Vineyard Wind? No, no that's the whole of the five. And Vineyard Wind is one and five. Yeah. They got the second. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So that's the update. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Stephen. I had something. I wrote it down. Yeah. Number one, thank you, Terry and Kathy, for the, 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 having a workload on this mission, as yep. well as the office director, two girls do. They're thank the best. you. Thank you, John. Yeah. And then I have another thought. Since we're looking for someone to be represented for the sidewalk work group, no, I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, he do. Too. I'm a one-woman well, well, show for the on, on the other end. I would like to nominate Jesse Duke because of his Jesse trade, his business, and and, and he has excellent qualifications. And I'll show who that we appoint them before they decide you don't want somebody from here. Well, uh, they the can't. Movie. They can't really decide that they don't want somebody. The door is open, so I said that it would either be somebody from our board or it would be somebody from uh, the advisory board. Well, it turns out somebody clued me in. They said well, they already have two members of the ASAP on that are going to these meetings regularly. One is Michael May, and the other one is Mickey Rowland, I believe. Michael's they, leaving. What? Michael is leaving. That's right. that's correct. I, I I I just feel this way because you know we've got a qualified man before you do to find somebody to well, but have to make so you have so this yeah, yeah. Yeah. the the other person who's going to be uh, going on a regular basis apparently is Holly, <coughs> and she's you know the staff. Okay. So and what we really need is somebody who is going to go to the board, go to the meetings consistently. They're like once every two weeks, I think. And um, at intervals, hopefully at critical intervals, when you know there's when there are things that need to be discussed regarding direction, that that person, whoever it is, would report to us as a board and say, well, so this is what's going on right now, and this is what we should be rendering an opinion on. So that's the whole deal. I'll hold my motion to appoint him. Well, because I think we're going to get, ball, get the ball rolling before we lose it. Have you talked to Jesse to see if he has time? <laughs> I'm very honored. I'm very honored, John. And, 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 um, and I also am trying to work on the, the stone book, which I have been working on. I'm okay. showing the different brick samples and patterns and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, you know, Based after what Ray just said about the, the commitment that you need to, that you really need to do, that's once every two weeks, and reporting back. Um, and that what are not not that you need to report back every single week. Right. What what I'm looking for is somebody who would be the eyes and the ears of the HCC. And frankly, I think we kind of have that with Michael May and with Mickey. I can't imagine either one of those guys or Holly, for that matter would allow something sort of egregious to slip through uh, without letting us know. But so this is the whole point, is to keep our board apprised of what is happening. The the only suggestion I would have there, other than maybe to appoint Diane out a good good uh, committee process when someone's absent, they get appointed. 
But um, <laughs> John said that she would love to be on that. I, I, I'm not. I'm not not suggesting it. But um, if we're relying on someone, I think it would. I would just ask that we request that they would be you know, give them the clear communication up front that where there's an expectation that they are also representing the HBC the with the report back. Because there might be some points yeah. of... Because like Mickey, isn't he on the... Uh, the, the, the handicap accessibility, handicap accessibility he, he also? He is, but he, he definitely wears two hats. Yeah, no, and that's and I I think that's great, uh, but I would just say that we, you know, make clear that we're looking for feedback. Yeah. And, because the whole idea of that, I think, from that meeting was that the HTC had some involvement, and I see no reason why it should be delegated. This is just my personal opinion. But that the communication be open, because otherwise we're going to have some members who aren't feeling like they're being communicated to. Something's going to come in front of the board. It's going to turn into a big thing that perhaps could have been avoided if there was more open communication. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's the only reason I voiced the concern. And you know, and I've been following it, but I haven't been following it thoroughly. And there may so I'd rather before commit to something like that, really research what and, and really find out what the HTC as a whole stands about it. Because um, there may be points where I might be on Rob McNeil's side or something where um they're you know where you're fired yeah no, <laughs> well my my point is is you know there is a there is a certain safety over, uh, over over things and i'm not i'm so not for that but i mean i would never take an elm tree down concerned if someone's going to trip over it yeah okay never it's but it, it, i mean there the but issue has many heads there's a, there's a lot there's, of people that are involved you know, and there's yeah. a lot of people involved and i and i think it's um, I think it involves making sure that you guys know that I'm I'm your guy and I can't give you that my opinion on how I feel about it because I don't know it enough. Yeah. Also, listen, we're a short board right now. You know, we're missing a lot of members that I think would would appreciate being involved in this conversation. Sure, yeah. I'm sure. So I think we should just keep this on other business. We're in all, and I'll research some more on it. Okay. I, I think that's a good resolution. That is a good resolution. Temporary resolution. And I just want to tell you guys briefly um, that um, I had a convert not a conversation, I had an email exchange with the now president of the Builders Association. Unfamiliar guy. I, I forget. I think he works in the Yacht Club or something. It was strange, but uh, he was all over it. I said, you know, we've been having this ongoing thing. You know, somebody came up with a good idea of bringing in the Builders Association because we needed somebody who was like more objective, uh, you know, that was able to put together a presentation that didn't have a bias in favor of like a lumber yard or this or that and just kind of like sit down and give us all the stuff. And he said that he's sure that his board is going to be absolutely all over it but he has to just you know run it past the board so that's, that's, great. That is. that's great and and by the way to that end so if you can all be thinking there are so many products out there somebody else walked in with another thing the other day and he's showing it to me it's it's wood it's fine but it's got some sort of a resin in it so there's like the number of products there's how they're how they are finished and there's also sort of like the longevity factor. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that need to be taken into consideration that I can just think of right off the bat. But so if you guys can sort of be thinking about the whole issue, because what I want to do when they do their presentation, I want to say, well, your presentation should include this and this and this and this. These are going to be the things that we're going to want to know about. Yep. That makes sense. Okay. And, so and seeing um, what they're like once they're been there a while exactly yeah. and that's that to me is the most difficult one right because other than the um i said it the other day the uh shepherd you know they have one or two buildings out there that i know have azac on them. yeah aside from that and the church right mm -hmm. oh that's yeah totally but fun. that's slightly different because i think that's actually like cast fiberglass or something 
the steeple. You're talking yeah. about the steeple, right? No, so but I just mean as a compare and contrast oh, of which synthetic church? materials. Which Congo. church? Yeah. The Congo. Mm -hmm. So okay, so the church I was the, the, the church I was talking about is the one um, right off of Pine. It's between Pine and Pleasant. Summer Street. Summer Street. Mm -hmm. That's the one that I said I drive by there and I look at the steeple and it looks like it's painted gloss white because oh. they cast that whole pointy steeple thing in fiberglass and it's supposed to be like some kind of an antenna, but. If you compare the color of the white to the on the steeple color, yeah. to the white just below it, it's different. Oh. I mean, you totally see it. So anyway, no, that's good. That's that's a big potential stuff. Oh wait, one more thing. <laughs> going more to the schedule, the updated schedule of the work study. Well, do we just want to approve this? Yeah, I'm just more to look at it. Well, you want to know something? I know personally, like I'm going to look at it and not notice something until I get back and right. say, oh, that's like so school break or I something. I motion to uh, approve and let it go on the website, and if somebody needs so to. You don't have a meeting with a live summer week and um, Labor Day week. Wow, thanks. Oh, no we don't have one on July 4th, and we don't have one when? Labor Day. We don't have one. And then Labor Day. Unless you want to have them on Thursday and Labor Day. Well, so we can look at this yeah. and maybe amend it. Just to like to see okay. what it is relative to Again, we're kind of a okay. short board yeah. right now. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. No, we're going to take it under advisement. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. A little advisement. A little advisement. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Well, well, to adjourn well past our time. Yeah, but an hour early.